Konoa, reviving Senju, starting with Concubine's author, Vortex. Chapter 126 You are my only candidate. All three are serious criminals. The sentences are all over 30 years. In the ninja world, where the average age is only about 50 years, this is almost equivalent to a death sentence for them. But there are other ways to reduce the sentence and allow them to get out of prison early. It's like being a drug tester this time. Try it once and save two years. But if you are unlucky and try the poison, you can only consider yourself unlucky. For these people, every test of medicine is equivalent to going through the gate of hell. A little good can live, a little back is death. After taking White's pill, they waited tremblingly for the effect of the medicine to take effect. But after waiting for a long time, I didn't feel any abnormal changes. It's not that there are no, but the changes are a bit embarrassing and they don't know how to respond for a while. The sharp-eyed servant noticed that 147 had changed somewhere in their bodies, and immediately went to whisper in Damio's ear. The Damio nodded slightly, and then the three of them were taken to another room. The three of them thought that the drug test was over, but before they could breathe a sigh of relief, they came to another room and saw a few ugly women with unkempt hair. It is obvious that they would feel disgusted even just by looking at their faces, but for some reason today, they actually felt the hotness in their bodies. The servant closed the door and all the doors and windows were tightly closed. A month later, a piece of news quietly began to spread in the kingdom of fire. Have you heard? The Daimyo Sama is going to have another heir. Is it true? My lord is probably almost sixty now, isn't he? He can still. Hush, keep your voice down, don't die. Isn't that what you were talking about? However, the Daimyo Sama is really brave, to be able to conceive an heir at such an advanced age, truly worthy of our Daimyo. Maybe the Daimyo is well maintained, after all Daimyo is not the same as ordinary people like us. What they eat are all precious things. Two people dressed as peasants were whispering aside. Suddenly, another farmer came over and said mysteriously, What you know is not the whole story. I know the truth of the matter. The other two farmers immediately became interested and asked again and again, How did you know? What is the truth? Don't the child belong to a famous adult? The mysterious farmer dragged the two of them into the alley and said lightly, The child really belongs to a famous adult. However, the daimyo actually borrowed a kind of miraculous medicine. The two farmers looked at each other suspiciously. Medicine, similar rumors, spread everywhere in the cities and towns of the land of fire. People can't tell the truth from the fake. Common people only regard it as talk after dinner. Even if you are interested, there is no way to learn more information. But those wealthy businessmen and nobles were all attracted to each other. It is exhausting for ordinary people to raise a child, but for these rich people, raising a child is nothing. Being able to have a qualified successor is the most important thing for them. And it is much easier for them to talk about the truth of the matter than the common people. Aristocrats can go to the daimyo to find out what's going on, and rich businessmen can buy people around the daimyo to get news. In short, it didn't take long for them all to know the truth of the matter. A 60-year-old daimyo actually impregnated a concubine. The news immediately excited them. After continuing to explore, they found that the matter had shifted to Senjuk Sinai. For a time, there was an endless stream of wealthy businessmen and nobles who wanted to visit and buy medicines. But none of them saw the face of Sanjuk Sinai. All of this, Sanju Starry Knight is handed over to the boss to take care of it. One lesson is ten million, no bargaining. This is the bottom line that Sanjuk Sinai handed over to the corner boss. As for how much boss Zhao can improve on this basis, that is boss Zhao's ability. In any case, this is a profitable industry. The money spent on researching drugs can be said to be insignificant. After handing everything over to the corner boss, Sanjuk Sinai hides at home and enjoys the cozy atmosphere. Why didn't you tell me about this? Yuan Shizhi sat across from him, drinking tea with him. Sanjuk Sinai smiled and said, Don't worry, it's just for publicity. That child can't threaten you, nor can it threaten Leah. Yuan Shizhi rolled her eyes and said softly, I might go back after Leah is three years old. Sanjuk Sinai nodded and said, I will always be your backing. At that time, I will always arrange a clone by your side to protect your safety. Yuan Shizhi bit her lip and couldn't help giving him a blank look. You didn't even say anything to keep me? Sanjuk Sinai said with a smile. Will you stay for me? I thought you cared more about your ambition. Madoka was silent. Then he said softly, I would like to stay for you. But, I also know that your goal is not just a small Konoa. Don't worry, I will take the Daimyo's position, not only for me, but also for your future plans. The smile on Sanjuk Sinai's face faded, then sighed. Thanks a lot. Yuan Shizhi shook her head lightly and said, It's the path I've chosen and I'm going to continue on it naturally. After all, with you behind me, I no longer have any fear. Sanjuk Sinai smiled and took her in his arms. As expected of Sanju Starry Knight's woman, if you have any dreams, just do it. I will definitely support you with all my strength. Sanju Tsunade is now Konoa's hokage. When Yuan Shizhi went back to fight for the position of Daimyo, the entire Fire Nation would be completely under the control of Sanjuk Sinai. At that point, 
Whatever Sanju Starry Knight wants to do will be 0.5 a lot easier than it is now. The promotion of this pregnancy medicine can also be easily thrown away, instead of making some little tricks to get it to spread. My lord father, my lord mother, Leah's voice is immature, but also has a majesty. She looked at her parents who were hugging each other, and said with a serious face, I'm ready to go with my mother anytime. Pooh. Yuan Shizzy couldn't help laughing, and then hugged her lovely daughter tightly in her arms. Leah is the best, she even knows to worry about her mother, but don't worry. Now is not the time, Leah just needs to stay with her father. When I take you over, you will be a candidate for the name of the Land of Fire. The only candidate. Chapter 127 This is just an appetizer. Boss, sold a total of 10 billion. Boss, Zhao excitedly reported to Sanjuk Sinai. He suddenly understood what was the more profitable thing that Sanjuk Sinai told him at the beginning. It is true that the current pregnancy medicine is very different from the office building. But as Sanju Starry Knight said, those who can afford office buildings have all bought them. The market has reached saturation but not pregnancy pills. Knowing that there is a demand for it, there is always a market for pregnancy medicine. And not only that, Sanju Starry Knight Madok Imaru study more than one drug. Don't be so excited, this is just the beginning, Sanju Sinai said calmly. This is just the country of fire. There are many potential customers in other countries. It's just an appetizer. Boss Zhao's calm and excited mood gradually calmed down when he saw his boss's calm and excited face. He looked at Sanju Sinai adoringly completely unable to understand why Sanju Sinai always thought of ways to make money so easily. An idea that comes up at random can easily be sold at such a high price. This made boss Zhao feel envious from the bottom of his heart. I must closely follow in the footsteps of Bose 23s. Boss told me to go east. Even if there is a cliff in front of me, I will definitely not hesitate at all. Boss Zhao shouted in his heart. It didn't show on the face. Go do what you have to do. I'll let you know if necessary. Sanju Sinai said lightly. Boss Zhao bowed and left. Yes. Boss. After careful management by boss Zhao, everyone soon knew that Sanju Sinai had added a huge profiteering industry, Sanju Pharmaceuticals. Another two months passed, Sanju Pharmaceuticals, already well known in the aristocratic circle, announced two blockbuster products again, body sculpting sticks and beauty masks. They are full of targeted products. The former is aimed at the figure, and the latter is aimed at the appearance. Once these two products were launched, they immediately detonated the noble circle, especially those noble ladies, each one was ecstatic. They regarded Kienki and Xinai as their gods. Sanju Starry Knight really knows how to make money. It's really admirable to focus on women. It's unbelievable how these amazing things are made. It's not something you and I can guess about the ninja. I'm very curious now, how much wealth he has amassed with these things. My family is going crazy. I put that sticky mask on my face every day, but the effect is really good. I thought I didn't have any feelings for her. But it turned out yesterday. I really don't admire it. The body sculpting strips and beauty face masks are critically acclaimed. Even the women at home couldn't put it down. Although in Sanju Sinai's view, they don't need the assistance of these things at all. But women's love for beauty is hard to understand even for Sanju Starry Knight who makes these products by himself. You're pretty enough, Kashina. Sanju Sinai stood behind Yuzu Maki Kashina, put his hands on her shoulders, and watched her busy with her face speechlessly. Yuzu Maki Kashina said with no head. You don't understand. Two days ago I actually had wrinkles around the corners of my eyes. Do you know how panicked I was? Fortunately, you have developed this treasure. After I used it, my wrinkles disappeared immediately, and my skin even became whiter. Not just use Yumaki Kashina. The women in the family are all obsessed with these products. Fortunately, this product has been strictly controlled by Okaimaru, and there will be no negative effects. After all, this is related to the reputation of Sanju Pharmaceuticals and cannot be fooled casually. Sanju Starry Knight is helpless. His wives were all obsessed with beauty and beauty, and for the first time he felt that he had been treated indifferently. Obviously he used to be the most popular person at home. The result is now. Dot. Sanju Sinai smiled wryly and shook his head, left the room and came to the courtyard. Just got the news that Yuakai Hafugaku's second child was born. Yi Kang pushed his glasses and said calmly. Sanju Sinai raised his eyebrows slightly. The second pillar is born, then Naruto should be soon. Two pillars, Naruto. Yi Kang was puzzled, but he didn't show it. Sanju Sinai didn't care either. If he didn't explain these words, no one could understand them. Then go get a present, follow me. With an inexplicable smile on the corner of Sanju Sinai's mouth. He brought Yi Kang to the land of the Yuakaiha clan. As soon as he came, the guard at the door immediately went in to notify him. Soon, Yuakaiha Fugaku rushed over aggressively. What are you doing here? Yuakaiha Fugaku said it was bad luck. Obviously, the birth of my second child is something worth celebrating. In the end, before I could be happy, I heard the news I didn't want to hear the most. In order to prevent his child from being affected by the bad luck of the Senju clan, he rushed out to stop him. You are not welcome here, he said in a stiff tone. Senju Sinai doesn't care too much insisting that the relationship between the Sanju clan and the Yuakaiha clan has not been very good. Really? Fortunately, I brought a gift. 
Yuakai Hafugaku waved his hand and shouted loudly, I don't need your gift, get out of here. Shua, Sanjuks and I took out two pieces of paper, and the sharp eyed U160 Zibo Fugaku immediately saw the words Sanju and Villa written on them. Yuakai Hafugaku couldn't help swallowing his saliva, and his firm eyes became brighter. Knowing the birth of your second child, Mikoto specifically asked me to give a gift to repay you for taking care of her before. If you don't want it, then I'll tear it up, as he said that. Tate Xinai made a gesture to stop. Don't. Yuakai Hafugaku hastily held out her Kang's hand. All of a sudden, the people around him looked at him strangely. But Yuakai Hafugaku forcefully ignored the looks. Did Mikota really send you here? How is she doing? Sanju Xinai stopped his movements and said it as a matter of course. Of course, Mikoto is happy now. Yuakai Hafugaku's complexion was extremely complicated. As long as she is happy, as long as she is happy, what the ultimate dog lick. Even though they knew that the person in front of them was their patriarch, the surrounding Yuakaiha people couldn't help showing disdainful eyes. What a shame. And in the crowd, a little girl looked at Senju Starry Knight with sparkling eyes. So handsome. The little girl looked up and looked at her mother. Mom, can Arquane marry that big brother in the future? Chapter 128 please. Don't make her work too hard. Yuakaiha clan land. The home of Yuakaiha Fuayu. The woman who had had a hard time giving birth fell asleep exhausted. On the side, Yuakaiha Itachi looked at his newborn brother curiously. This is mine. Love, I must protect him. Looking at Yuakai Sasuke who was smiling brightly at him, Yuakai Itachi made a decision that would affect his life. It's a picture worth remembering. The sudden sound made Yuakai Itachi turn his head subconsciously and put his body in front of Yuakai Sasuke. Then, he saw the owner of the voice, Sanju Starry Knight. R, it's the uncle from that day. Sanju Sinai heard that Yuakai Itachi still remembered himself, and the smile on the corner of his mouth suddenly became brighter. You still remember me, then do you remember what I said that day? Yuakai Itachi nodded. But a puzzled look appeared on his face. Itachi, remember. But Itachi doesn't understand. It doesn't matter if you don't understand now, you will know later. Sanjuk Sinai said softly, and took two steps forward to look at the newly born Azuzi. Without his intervention, the future Azuzi will become one of the saviors to save the entire ninja world after going through a series of hardships. But now, with him in Senju Starry Night, Azuzi and Naruto will definitely not be able to turn. And without nine tails, Naruto probably wouldn't be able to reach that height either. Azuzi looked at him with eyes full of curiosity. This is also the nature of children, full of curiosity about everything. The purpose of coming here has been achieved. Senju Xenai did not stay too long, touched the small head of the big dutiful son, and said softly. Remember the will of fire, and as you grow up, think about its meaning. After finishing speaking, leaving a meaningful smile on DXOZ, Senju Xenai turned and left. As soon as he went out. He ran into Yuakai Hafugaku who was rushing over. What have you done? Yuakai Hafugaku questioned, but his right hand, which was holding a few blank papers, was quietly behind his back. Just now he accepted the gift from Senju Xinai in a daze, and then he was surrounded by several unaccustomed clansmen to denounce him. So he argued with his tribe. These were given to me by Mikoto, what does it have to do with his Senju Starry Knight? Am I such a person who doesn't distinguish between public and private? If it wasn't for Mikoto, I would have shredded this piece of paper. Mikoto is very kind but I am worried that my children will not have a house to live in in the future. Mikoto has me in his heart. I still have a chance. Yuakai Hafugaku screamed wildly in his heart. Use his set of fallacies to argue with the tribe. How could the Yuakai tribe agree, and strongly demanded that he tear up the deed immediately? Even if my Yuakai clan is wiped out tonight, I will never accept the handouts from the Sanju clan. Of course, this is what the Yuakai people think. But how could Yuakai Hafugaku, whose mind is full of Mikoto, Agree. The two sides tore for a while before someone discovered that Kienki and Xenai had disappeared. This terrified Yuakai Hafugaku. I'm afraid that Sanju Starry Knight will be bad for his children. Hurry up and run back. Of course. The white paper in his hand was intact. Sanju Xenai's A's rolled slightly, and the smile on the corner of his mouth became even brighter. I'm just taking Mikoto's place to take a look at your child. It's not convenient for Mikoto to come here now so I can only do what I can. Mikoto is inconvenient. Yuakai Hafugaku froze on the spot as if hit by a bolt from the blue. Senju Xenai ignored him and walked past him. Yuakai Mikoto is indeed inconvenient, because she is in charge of taking care of the pregnant Conan today. As for Mikoto's gift, it's pure Senju Starry Night nonsense. I'm afraid Yuakai Mikoto doesn't even know now that Yuakai Hafugaku is having a second child. Even if you know, you won't say anything. After all, the first child didn't express it. So how could the second child express it? Ura glanced suspiciously at Yuakai Hafugaku who was standing on the spot. She didn't know what was going on here, but felt that Yuakai Ha's patriarch was very weird, etc. Suddenly, Yuakai Hafugaku called out to Senju Xenai, with tears in his eyes. Please, don't make her work too hard. Please. This moment, Senju Starry Knight has to admire. Yuakai Hafugaku this is too dog licking. Fearing that his expression could not be stretched, 
Sanju Xinai waved his hand and left without even turning his head. I didn't even open my mouth. He was afraid that if he opened his mouth, he would not be able to restrain his laughter. He, with Sister Mikoto. Yi Kang asked curiously in a low voice. Sanju Starry Knight whispers Kaido. Ah, go back and explain this to you. Hurry up and get out of here first. I'm afraid I can't help but laugh out loud. Yi Kang seemed to understand, but the two quickly left the Yuakaiha tribe. When leaving, Hakura couldn't help but look back at Yuakaiha Fugaka for a day. She always has an illusion. It was as if she was not looking at a person, but a humble dog. Feeling overwhelmed, Sanjuk Sinai had just returned home when he heard good news. Have you got it? Sanjuk Sinai's eyes widened, and he looked at Yuakaiha Mikoto with a shy face next to him in surprise. Sanju Tsunade said angrily, I confirmed it myself. What could be wrong? It's been a month. Sanju Sinai immediately stepped forward and hugged Yuakaiha Mikoto in a circle. Mikoto you are amazing. Yuakaiha Mikoto turned pale with fright. Be careful, kid. Sanju Sinai quickly put Yuakaiha Mikoto down, and then turned to look at Sanju Tsunade. And you, is there any movement? Snapped. Sanju Tsunade slapped Sanju Sinai on the forehead angrily. At this time you ask this? Shouldn't you care more about Mikoto? Even though he said so. A trace of envy flashed in Sanju Tsunade's eyes. She would also love to have a second child. Maid Zhao, especially her son Luffy is so uneasy, which makes her really want to have a well-behaved child like Niwu, or Leah. But after taking over from 4th Hokage, her daily work has become very busy. After returning home at night, there is not much time to be alone with Sanju Starry Night. There are many wives in the family, and how to allocate time is also a problem. Indeed, I was negligent. Sanju Sinai restrained her excitement for a while. Holding Yuakai Hamikoto in his arms, he began to ask for warmth. Yi Kang approached Tsunade with a strange expression, and whispered what they did just now. Sanju Tsunade's expression also became weird. What did you say? Yuakai Hafugaka really said that? Yi Kang nodded seriously. Sanju Tsunade was speechless for a moment. How can there be such a dog-licking person in this world? Is it true that the forest is so big that there are all kinds of birds? Chapter 129 Itachi you must protect Mikoto-aunt's children when you grow up. The news that Yuakaiha Mikoto was pregnant again quickly spread throughout Konoha, and when the news reached Yuakaiha Fugaku's ears, he was devastated. The joy of having a second son disappeared in an instant. Mikoto, Mikoto, why? Tears streamed down his face. Boom. The wife who had just given birth to Sasuke to Yuakaiha Fugaku was furious when she saw her husband like this, kicked him to the ground with one kick. You actually like her so much, then you go with her. After finishing speaking, he actually hugged little Sasuke and would be married. Fortunately, we all live in the Yuakaiha tribe, not far away. The overwhelmed Yuakaiha Fugaku ignored it. He just pulled his filial son and kept telling him what to do. Itachi, you must work hard to become the strongest ninja. It must not be weaker than that bastard child of Senju Starry Knight, you know? Also, you must protect Mikoto aunt's children when you grow up, you know? The young Yuakaiha Itachi tilted his head and looked at his sad father suspiciously. Although he didn't understand what 550 was talking about. He nodded obediently and said, I know my father, I will work hard. Yuakai Hafugaku nodded in relief, and tears of relief slowly flowed from his eyes. Somewhere in the dark place of Konoa, here is the base of the roots. It is also the place where Danzo hides. Sanju Real Estate, Sanju Bank, Sanju Pharmaceutical. This Sanju Starry Night is becoming more and more unstoppable. Danzo frowned. He still hasn't given up his dream of becoming Hokage. It can be said to be quite tough. If he hadn't been hiding in the village, he would have been dealt with already. Unfortunately, he is too timid. On the other hand, Danzo's confidant Taburam Yoma stepped forward and said, Danzo-sama, since we can't do anything to Sanju Starry Night, can we do anything about other people? Danzo rolled his eyes and looked at Aburam Yoma. You are right. Aburam Yoma said immediately, the rebellious ninja of Haratoki Gakure, Kakazu Danzo's eyes lit up immediately. Yes, can't solve you Sanju Starry Night, can't solve the traitorous ninja. Thinking of the huge blow to Sanju Starry Night by solving the important role of controlling the financial management of Sanju real estate. Sanju Bank and Sanju Pharmaceuticals, Danzo felt that this matter was worth doing. The most important thing is that Danzo is not as cautious as Sanju Xenai, to Anjan uses clones to solve it. As long as you know Kakazu's whereabouts, and with the shameless siege ability of Jen, it is a breeze to solve a traitorous ninja. This matter is entrusted to you. It is absolutely no problem to assassinate him with your ability. Danzo squinted his eyes, and a ruthless look flashed in his eyes. This time, let me see if you Sanju Starry Knight can be as calm as before. Hey hey hey. Ha 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 ha. Amidst Danzo's rampant laughter, Yuan Yoma, who had been expressionless all this time, quietly disappeared. Naturally, our corner boss doesn't know that he has been listed as a target. At the moment, he is running around diligently, selling Sanju's products. Now Sanju's flagship product is naturally a cutting-edge product of Sanju Pharmaceuticals. My lord, the effect of the product is just like what you have seen with your own eyes. You only need to pay a little money, and your wife, concubine, 
and your daughter will all have a peerless beauty and figure. For a big shot like you who is at the pinnacle of power, the beauties around you must also be at the top to qualify. Boss Zhao is eagerly promoting his products. Next to him are two tall and sexy models that he uses to show off. The land country Damio scanned the two with stern eyes. Just now, Boss Zhao used a magic-like, CDDF, method, just choosing some plasters and masks, to turn the two models with a common figure into the current bulging and back-curling, fair and shiny skin appearance. It deeply attracted the attention of the Daimyo of the Earth Country. At last, the Daimyo of the Land of Earth looked away, and a smile like Matria appeared on his fat face. I've heard about the excellent products of Sanju Pharmaceuticals for a long time, and seeing them today really deserves their reputation. However, I learned from Daimyo of Fire Nation that you have another product. The Land Country Daimyo didn't explain what he said, but the meaning he expressed was already obvious. This kind of thing should not be said clearly, it will easily affect his reputation as a Daimyo. It would be a disgraceful thing to let others know that he actually needed the help of drugs to give birth to heirs. After all, compared to the Daimyo of the Country of Fire, the Daimyo of the Land of Fire is much younger. However, compared to the Fire Nation having more than a dozen heirs, the Earth Nation Daimyo only has two daughters, which is obviously inappropriate. The nobles have always criticized this slightly, but no one dared to mention it in front of the Daimyo. But the Daimyo of the Earth Country knew this well, and he himself was very anxious. Now that Kakuzu comes to sell products in person, Land Dokuni Daimyo naturally cannot let go of this opportunity. Boss Zhao is also very knowledgeable and said with a smile. Please don't worry, my lord, as long as you can purchase enough products, the villain will naturally send you a gift that will satisfy you. Daimyo of the land country immediately nodded in relief, and looked at Boss Zhao with a childish expression. In that case, let's order 500 copies of each of these two products first. Boss Zhao's eyes suddenly lit up. Thank you for your patronage. One piece of slimming stickers is three million tals and one piece of beauty mask is 2 million tals, a total of 2.5 billion tals of big business, more expensive than half an office building, and these are consumables and can be sold all the time, even if the wives and concubines of the daimyo of the land of land are very economical, they can only use them for less than a year at most, what's more, when have these high ranking women ever cared about money, these numbers can last for more than half a year, and in boss Zhao's opinion, they are already enough to save, in order to facilitate the promotion of sales, Boss Tong has placed a large amount of inventory in the storage scroll that he carries with him. On the spot, he took out enough goods and handed them over to the land country Daimyo. Boss Zhao is not worried that the land country Daimyo will not give money. If you don't give it, you can keep it in the account, put it in the Senju bank, get a few installments of interest, and earn more. After the goods are delivered, it will be the pregnancy medicine that the earth country Daimyo has been thinking about. Of course, the drug has now been renamed. It is really difficult for the name of this medicine to be elegant. My lord. I offer you 10 copies of the reduction pill, I hope you can accept it. Boss Zhao respectfully handed over the medicine bottle containing 10 pills. Is this the medicine in that legendary? The Earth Country Daimyo took it with bright eyes. Dot. Chapter 130 I'm just here to push a sale, how did I become a pimp? 10 copies of Dan, if you are lucky, you can make the land of land Daimyo have more than a football team. Of course, if the land of land Daimyo is wild enough. Two football teams are fine. But this is not something that Boss Zhao needs to care about. Just completed a big deal. Indeed the boss is in a very good mood now. Although the value of 100 million was sent out, the decline Dan. But the pricing of this thing is entirely in the hands of Senju Starry Knight. He can sell as much as he wants. After all, the cost of this thing is very low. You can make a lot of them casually. So boss Zhao didn't feel bad at all when he sent it out. Only when boss Zhao was about to leave, Damio Tanokuni tried to persuade him to stay. Boss Zhao, please stay. Boss Zhao immediately said politely. My lord, please be polite. Just call me Kakuzu. Boss Zhao is just a joke. Ha ha ha. The Earth Country Daimyo immediately laughed proudly, and then said with a smile, Who doesn't knows that you, Boss Zhao, are the confidants of that Senju patriarch? Calling you Boss Zhao is not an exaggeration at all. This time, the Horn Boss did not refuse. This is the face given to Senju Starry Knight by the Land of Land Daimyo, and it is definitely inappropriate for the boss to refuse. At the same time, Boss Zhao also understood the purpose of the Earth Country Daimyo. It must be Boss Senju Starry Knight who is asking for him. I don't know what else my lord has to do, the Land Country Daimyo said with a smile. I heard that Senju Xinai has been working hard to keep the family line alive. After I found out about this incident, I was very moved, so I wanted to help. Boss Zhao understood immediately. This is to place a pillow next to his boss. But I can't be the master of this matter. Boss Zhao suddenly said with a look of embarrassment on his face. I'm afraid it's difficult for the subordinates to agree to this matter. Besides, the master already has three wives, so I'm afraid it's impossible to. Boss Zhao didn't finish what he said, but the meaning was clear. You can send a woman if you want, 
but there is no place for a wife, and most it is a concubine's room. This is also a problem for the land of Land Damio. He is a dignified name in the country of Earth, but if his daughter is sent there and he is not even a wife, it will be a big shake for his status. After all, the daughters of the Fire Country Damios all occupy the position of a concubine. Father, I don't care. I just want to marry Senju Starry Knight. At this time, a crisp voice came from behind the screen behind the King's Country Damio. This surprised Boss Zhao. With Boss Zhao's strength, he knows that there are people behind the screen. But Boss Zhao never expected that the daughter of the Land Country Damio was hiding there. He thought it was a bodyguard preventing assassin in his heart. He secretly mocked that the guards of the Daimyo of the Earth Country are really Bardas. It now appears that Tenguago Daimyo has long been prepared. However, judging from the active appearance of the daughter of the Daimyo of the Earth Country, the leader of this matter is probably not the Daimyo of the Land of Earth. The Daimyo of the Earth Country frowned suddenly. Asaka, Princess Koxiang did not flinch at all, and bravely looked directly at her father's stern eyes. Father, I have made my decision. Father, please don't stop me. Seeing her daughter's resolute will. The daimyo of the earth country couldn't help but let out a deep sigh. Then, he said to Boss Zhao, Sorry for letting you see such an unbearable scene. Boss Zhao waved his hand and said, Weather is. Princess Koxiang also has the temperament, she has the demeanor of an adult. The land country daimyo smiled, and then said, Forget it, then you go with me. Since it's the path you chose, alas, this is the frustration of being a father. But there is no way. My daughter just glanced at the photo of Sanju Starry Knight and immediately fell into it deeply and couldn't extricate herself. Although after seeing the photos of Senju Starry Night, Damio Tanokini is not incomprehensible. But after all, she is her own precious daughter. After 20 years of raising her, she actually wanted to leave her side. Even if he is a famous name in a country, his heart will be full of reluctance. However, now that the decision has been made, the land country Damio has no regrets in his heart. Even, he himself is very optimistic about the combination of the two parties. Now the entire ninja world knows that the Senju industry under Senju Starry Night pervades the entire ninja world, involving every aspect of life. What kind of value is contained in it cannot be simply estimated. If you can connect with Senju Starry Night, there will be only advantages and no disadvantages for the land of Earth. Dot 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 asking for flowers. So, in the end, even if his daughter regretted it, he couldn't possibly agree. The only pity is that his daughter Zhao Princess can't be the wife of Xenai. This virtually lowered his equal status with the Fire Country Daimyo. But now the Daimyo of the Land of Earth can no longer take care of these. Thank you father. Princess Koxiang happily embraced her father. Afterwards, she only realized later that she might not see her parents again in a short time after this departure. Tears of reluctance appeared in the eyes immediately. The father and daughter began to look at each other tenderly. Boss Zhao's head got bigger when he saw it. I just came out to sell products. How could I be a pimp? Zero. Boss shouldn't be angry, right? Thinking of the high grade of his own boss, Boss Zhao immediately raised the appearance of the poisonous princess. Although the daimyo of the Land of Land is like a Maitreya Buddha, his daughter is very different from him in appearance. Perhaps it is more inherited from the mother's appearance. Tall and handsome, with a healthy bronze complexion. A look is very lively personality. The key figure is still very plump. At first glance, it is the type that my boss likes. Never mind. Take it back to show the boss first. If you are not satisfied then bring it back. As for whether the land of land Daimyo will be angry. Does he dare? Boss Zhao leaned against Sanju Xenai, and his confidence in his heart was infinite. After a reluctant farewell, Princess Koxian took two maids and a team of guarded warriors, followed Boss Zhao and set off for Sleepy Leaf. This makes the boss very upset. After all, his sales journey has just begun and there are still several countries that he has not visited yet. But he can also distinguish between priorities, and this matter is obviously more important. Pack your mixed feelings. Just after leaving the border of Land of Earth, Boss Zhao keenly sensed that something was wrong. Who is it? He immediately rushed to Princess Koxiang to guard her safety, and looked around vigilantly. The sudden move immediately caused the guards to act. But just as they were about to form a circle, they all twitched and fell to the ground. Seeing this scene, Boss Zhao frowned immediately. Is it poisonous? When will it be? Chapter 131 Boss, it's up to you. Boss Zhao saw purple marks appear on the face of the twitching guard who fell to the ground. Obviously not ordinary poisoning. And it was silent, and it was not known when it was poisoned. Wait, that's... Boss Zhao moved his eyes and noticed something. It turned out to be a bug from the Abaram family. That is to say, the person who ambush is root. I didn't expect that they couldn't attack the boss and they chose to take me as a target. If Boss Zhao was alone, he would naturally not be afraid. But there is still a princess behind him who needs to be protected. If something happens to this princess here, things will become troublesome. It was a good time. Boss Zhao frowned. Although Princess Koxiang was a little panicked, she was not at a loss. She first took a step closer to Boss Zhao, then turned around and looked at 897 vigilantly in the direction behind her. After all, Boss Zhao can only see the situation in front of him, not the situation of himself. What should we do? Princess Koxiang asked calmly. 
but her trembling voice still revealed her mood at the moment. Don't worry, I won't let you get hurt, boss Zhao said solemnly. This is the person who gave it to his own boss, even if he is smashed to pieces, he must guarantee to send it to him. Moreover, he is not without cards, it's just that the enemy hasn't shown up yet, so it's hard for him to do it. The guards soon stopped struggling and lost their breath of life. Only boss Zhao, Princess Koxiang, and two maids trembling with fear were left, etc. The enemy didn't target Princess Koxiang so they must know her identity. But why are the two maids all right? Obviously all the guards were recruited. Boss Zhao was startled and turned around suddenly. As soon as he turned his head, he saw that the two maids were still trembling. They quickly formed seals with expressionless faces, and the parasites on the corpses rushed over immediately. Fire style head hard. He pulled Princess Koxiang who didn't know what happened behind him, and then a masked monster suddenly appeared on his shoulder. The monster opened its mouth wide and immediately spewed out violent flames. The raging parasites were instantly burned up. Ah, only then did Princess Koxiang let out a scream. But not because of the enemies, but because of the masked monsters that pop out from the horned boss shoulders. How can there be such a thing in a normal human body? The raging fire forced back the two disguised as maids. It also breaks their disguise. Accompanied by a puff of white smoke, the disguised two return to Konoa Genbu's attire. It really is you. Boss Zhao looked around and at some point there were already more than a dozen people standing around, all our members of Root. If it was normal, Boss Zhao would not be afraid at all, but not now. There is an oil bottle behind him, so the boss can't concentrate on fighting the enemy. Looking forward and backward like this, the strength will naturally be discounted. Superior. Abraham Yomas gave an order, and all Root members acted at the same time. Shuriken and Kunai came from all directions. All the attacks were directed at the corner boss. No solution anymore. Boss Zhao didn't take these attacks seriously but it is obviously unrealistic to get rid of all the route members while protecting Princess Koxiang. Fortunately, the corner boss is also prepared. Excuse me, he first apologized, and then took Princess Koxiang to a safe place. Then he took out a scroll, which conjured a branch with a bang. Boss, it's up to you, Horn Boss shouted, and then injected Chakra into the branch. The dry branches were immediately activated, and their shape expanded rapidly. It turned into Sanju Starry Knight in an instant. This is obviously Sanju Xinai's backhand used to protect the corner boss. When the corner boss is in danger, inject Chakra into the branches to activate it. The branches will instantly become Sanju Starry Knight's Wit clone. Of course, the downside of this sleepy clone is that it has less Chakra. There is only one shadow level. If there are too many enemies, or the enemies are too strong, there is no way. Abaram Yoma and others saw the wood clone of Sanju Starry Knight appear but they didn't have any meaning. Although Danzo is not good in other aspects, he is really awesome in terms of training and brainwashing. At least the members of this group of roots were trained by Danzo to completely obey the orders. But maybe that's why it lacks some flexibility. After being activated, Senju Xinai quickly glanced at the form in the field of vision. Then choose the fastest way to destroy the enemy. Wood style middle dot the tree world is coming. Snapped. With the hands together, a large number of branches suddenly boomed on the ground. The originally desolate place was suddenly replaced by countless trees. And the members of the root are really going to become the nutrients of these forests now. But Abram Yoma, as Danzo's right hand man, naturally won't be defeated so easily. He first used the worm avatar to get rid of the controlled state, and then quietly attacked the corner boss. Because he saw with his own eyes that the Senju Starry Knight in front of him was transformed from a branch, and it was not Senju Starry Knight itself at all. Fighting with it is a waste of time and a waste of precious sneak attack opportunities. But, under this completely controlled situation, how could Abiram Yoma succeed in his sneak attack? The moment Abiram Yoma left, Sanju Xinai noticed it. But he did his tricks, as if he didn't notice. Boss Zhao is also a cage level strong man, so he naturally noticed it. But his choice, like Sanju Star Yoruichi, is as unknown. The master and servant completed a wave of cooperation in tacit understanding ready to start communicating with relaxed expressions, but in fact they were always paying attention to Abraham Yoma in the dark. Got it. Abraham Yoma thought inwardly, and his right hand contaminated with poisonous insects quickly moved towards Boss Zhao's back heart, but obviously someone was faster than him. 5.7 Countless vines instantly bound Abraham Yoma firmly. Boss Zhao didn't even look back. Another masked monster suddenly appeared behind him. Lightning style false darkness. Lightning immediately pierced Abraham Yoma's chest. Since then, one of Danzo's right-hand men, Abaram Yoma, a genius of the Abaram family, was killed immediately. The other root ninjas have all been sucked into human stems in the previous tree world, supplementing the chakra that maintains wood clone. Sanjuk Sinai then set his sights on Princess Asaka who had been staring at him since just now. What happened? Who is she? Boss Jai guarded Yuan Yu's masked monster, and then briefly explained what happened in Yizi Kingdom. You are more handsome in real life than in your photos. Princess Koxiang is like a star-chasing little girl with stars in her eyes. Dot.
Chapter 132 I am Yuakai Huizumi, can I be the big brother's bride? Senju Starry Night is clear. He was very familiar with this look. There are enough fans of him in Konoha, not bad for her, at most. Princess Koxiang has the status of a princess. He also has the wife of a princess from the fire country. I see, but you and I have just met. You don't know me at all. Aren't you afraid of regretting it? Senju Starry Night's eyes are like a vast sea of stars which makes Princess Koxiang deeply immersed in it. She didn't notice at all what Senju Xinai had just said. Senju Xinai had no choice but to repeat it. Only then did Princess Koxiang come back to her senses. I will. I know you very well. I would like to help the Senju clan flourish for you. Senju Xinai frowned. He didn't mind having another concubine who was a princess. Even if there is no strength, having a noble status is still very helpful for the improvement of the heir's aptitude. Although he now has 18 children, there are two unborn children. But he didn't mind having more offspring at all. With, multiple children, many blessings system, if you want to quickly improve your strength, having more children is definitely the fastest way. However, Senju Starry Knight will not treat children as a tool for self-improvement, and then give birth to Chaos 24. That is irresponsible to the child. Therefore, finding a mother who loves children as much as myself and a mother who can provide children with strong qualifications is the most important criterion for Senju Starry Knight. As for feelings, they can naturally be cultivated slowly. Since you have made a decision, come to Konoha to find me. Senju Xinai sees that Princess Koxiang has made up her mind, so naturally she will not refuse. Kakuzu, send her to Konoha safely. Boss Zhao immediately nodded in response. Yes, boss. After explaining the matter, Senju Xinai immediately turned into the texture of wood, and then slowly shrank, turning into the appearance of the dry branch just now. Boss Zhao collected it respectfully, and sealed it into the scroll. If you encounter trouble in the future, you can use it again. Although Senju Xinai gave Boss Zhao more than one means of protection, Boss Zhao still cherishes it very much. This represents how much Senju Xinai valued him. Being able to get such a boss, Boss Zhao is naturally willing to do anything for Senju Starry Knight. What's more, there is a large salary every month. Let's go now. Princess Koxiang said impatiently. As for the sacrificed guards and maids, she may have forgotten at this time. Far away in Konoha, Senju Xinai closed his eyes and rested his mind, Suddenly a memory rushed into his brain. This is really. He could not help shaking his head and smiling wryly when he heard the news that a little girl who was a princess was coming towards him. He then told his three wives about the incident. Since you admire your husband, then your husband must treat him well. Yuzu Maki Kashina shows a gentle and virtuous big sister demeanor. Princess of the land of earth, won't there be any trouble with this matter? As Hokage, Senjutsu Nade's perspective on things is obviously different from before. Is it Koxiang? I remember her. She once came to the Daming Mansion. She was a lively and innocent girl. Yuan Shai Ori has no opinion on this. Although Princess Koxiang's identity is the same as hers, she is also the daughter of a daimyo. But she is married to Senju Xinai's wife, and Princess Asaka is just a concubine. There is a gap in status, and there is no comparison in character. Let's wait for her to come over first. If you just refuse like this, you will offend the daimyo of the land of earth. Although I'm not afraid of him, there's no need to offend a potential big client. Senju Xinai said with a smile. By the way, that guy Minato's baby will be born soon, right? Yi Kang, remember to remind me to prepare a gift for him. Namike's Minato is also one of the important forces on his side. Naturally, it is necessary to win over. Clear. Yi Kang pushed his glasses and wrote down the incident. After getting through with the three wives, Senju Xinai no longer cares about Princess Asaka. With the footsteps of Princess Asaka, it will take three days at the earliest to reach Konoha. Such a long-term thing is not worth his distraction. Then, he goes out as usual. As a result, as soon as he walked out of the house, a little girl ran up to him. The little girl looked about five or six years old. Big brother. The little girl screamed crisply, her face flushed with excitement. Seeing the cute little girl, Senju Xinai suddenly thought of his own daughter. He squatted down, with a fatherly smile on his face and stretched out his hand to rub the top of the little girl's head. Hello, little sister. Then, he noticed the family crest on the little girl's clothes. Round fan. Are you from the Uakaiha family? He raised his eyebrows. Sanju Xinai thought that Uakaiha's people were forbidden to contact him under the order of Uakaiha Fugaku. Unexpectedly, such a little girl would not listen to the words of the head of the family. My name is Azumi. Uakaiha Azumi. Can I be the big brother's bride? I like big brother so much. The little girl said her name aloud while looking expectantly at Senju Starry Knight. This. Senju Xinai smiled, just took it as a child's joke, and didn't take it to heart. You are still too young, if you still have this idea ten years later, come and find me. Why? Senju Xinai rubbed Uakaiha Azumi's little head then shook his head and left with a helpless smile. The spring is not small. Yuakai Huizumi rubbed his little head and muttered, but there was a 380 light of expectation in his eyes. Ten years later, I will be the bride of the big brother. Queen must grow up quickly. With her short legs, 
she swished away. Senjuk Sinai sighed while walking. My charm that has nowhere to put it. I don't even let such a small child go. I'm really a sinful man. Yi Kang couldn't help but rolled his eyes, but his cheeks were blushing. She had to admit that Senjuk Sinai's attractive appearance was too hard to resist. Just look at it and you will fall deeply. Yi Kang felt that he might not last long. Damn it, did Yoma even fail? Danzo was furious and broke everything on the table. The other root members looked at their noses, noses, and hearts and remained silent. They themselves are following Danzo's orders. Even if Danzo kills them now, they won't do anything. Damn Sanju Starry Knight. Damn Sanju Tsunade. Damn Sarutobi Hiruzen. Damn it all. Danzo waited with scarlet A's, gasping for breath. If it weren't for these three, he would have already landed the coveted Hokage position. Can now. The routes he worked so hard to cultivate are only some useless waste. Other ninjas have turned to the powerful Sanju Starry Knight, who can't even recruit members. Chapter 133 Good Guy. The welcome party is the wedding scene. Once upon a time, Hidanzo was the darkness of the ninja world. What a sight. In the ninja world, the reputation resumes at home and abroad. As a result, now, those suppressed by Sanjuk Sinai are so difficult to recruit new members, they can only suck blood from their own ninja. It's all because of him. Sanju Starry Knight. Danzo gritted his teeth and said, Sudden. A route member suddenly appeared and said with a blank face, My lord. Just now when we went to the Abaram family to absorb new members, we were rejected. The head of the Abaram family said that the Abaram family has no suitable personnel to send to join the Glorious Roots. Please forgive me. Danzo's eyes widened suddenly. What did you say? The Abaram family is Danzo's most trusted fighters. Abaram's parasites are excellent in scouting and assassination. Has always been an important part of the route. Now, the Abaram patriarch actually rejected his recruitment. There is no suitable manpower. This is just an excuse. The Abaram family is considered a big family in Konoa. How could there be a shortage of manpower? There is only one possibility for this to happen. Damn Sanju Starry Knight. Danzo roared unwillingly. Then he rolled his eyes and fell into a coma. At this time, the surrounding route members suddenly became a little dazed. They didn't know whether to help them or not. They didn't get the order after all. But it seems that just letting Danzo lie there is not good. In the end, they looked at each other a little helplessly and then decided to continue to stand. Then, poor and hateful Danzo lay on the cold floor for half the night, finally woke up from the cold with a bad cold. Three days later, Boss Zhao safely sent Princess Koxiang to Konoa as the princess of the land of Earth. Princess Koxiang was naturally welcomed with a very high standard. At the welcome party, the patriarchs of the various ninja tribes were present one after another, because the person holding the party is called Sanju Starry Knight. This is someone they must not offend. But they are also very strange, why the princess of the country of Earth came to Konoa suddenly. And there is no guard. Do you think it is possible that this princess is actually here for the Sanju Patriarch? The head of the Nara family, Nara Shiju, rubbed his chin and guessed. Sitting next to him is naturally his good partner, the other two from Inoue Shikacho, Yamuna Kohei Aiji and Akamaki Choza. Akamaki Dingza looked like a good old man, just smiled and didn't speak. He usually does not engage in such topics. Most of the brain work is left to the smartest Nara Shiju. He just needs to be in charge of doing it. Yamanaka felt that his friend's guess was very reasonable. He looked at Princess Osaka, who was standing behind Hokage Senjutsu Nade on the podium, with bright A's, and followed her gaze. You may be right, her eyes have been on the Senju Patriarch. It seems that in a few days, we need to congratulate the Senju Patriarch for accepting another wife. However, Nara Shijiu frowned slightly and said, Wife words are unlikely which means that the Senju Patriarch already has three wives, and one of them is our princess. Akamaki Dingzu asked curiously. You mean His Highness Tsunadeheim? Nara Shikeji rolled his eyes and said, Of course Princess Madoka Shai Ori. Also, Tsunade-sama is Hokage, so it's not polite to call you that. Akamaki Dingza nodded repeatedly. Akamaki Dingza, who is still young, has no composure at all. He no longer showed unnecessary curiosity, and put all his thoughts on dealing with these delicacies. Yamanaka said with a slight frown. But Princess Koxiang is a princess after all, wouldn't it be inappropriate to let her become a concubine? Nara Shikeji shook his head and said, Regardless of how things turn out, this is not the right time to talk about them. It will be revealed in a few days. Podium. As Hokage, Senjutsu Nade first welcomed Princess Asaka as a representative of Konoa, and then handed over the stage to Princess Asaka. Let her come and say hello to all the ninja patriarchs who participated in the party. However, Princess Koxiang's gaze was fixed on the Senju Starry Knight in the center below without moving for a moment. When Senju Tsunade stepped aside and wanted her to speak a few words, she immediately shouted excitedly, Mr. Xenai, I want to marry you. It doesn't matter if it's just a concubine. The audience suddenly fell into a deathly silence. What did they just hear? Are they hallucinating? What did Princess Koxiang say just now? Why did they not understand? The Inuzuka patriarch looked aside suspiciously. Tilda old man, did you just hear what this princess said? The head of the pommel horse held his forehead with his hand, and seemed to have a headache. He heard it, 
but he didn't expect that today's party would turn out like this. This princess Kuxiang is really too bold. She doesn't have the reserved temperament of a princess at all, and her appearance is exactly the same as that of the little fan girl who faces Senju Starry Knight on the street. He admits that Senju Starry Knight's charm is amazing. The unmarried girls in his clan all expect to marry Senju Hoshiya just like Kuruma Megami. But it's hard to imagine that it's what a princess did to speak out her thoughts in such a large audience without the slightest sense of shame. After half an hour, all the people came to their senses and began to discuss in surprise. Senju Tsunade covered his face with his hands, Tan Fen had a headache. Obviously it wasn't explained like this before, but the girl gave her a big surprise as soon as she came up. Although Senju Tsunade guessed that this girl is a girl with a carefree personality, he did not expect to be so bold and straightforward. Maybe it will be good to get along, but the current situation is really embarrassing. Senju Tsunade looked up and looked at her husband in the audience. Senju Tsunade also felt amused seeing her husband's slightly stunned look. I'm afraid Tate Xenai didn't expect this scene. Yes, Senju Xenai didn't expect Princess Koxiang to confess to him directly in public. However, who is Tate Xenai? Although it was unexpected, Senju Xenai stood up and went back and forth directly amidst the discussions. Everyone, it happened suddenly, but please wait a moment. While speaking, Senju Xenai came to the podium stood beside Princess Koxiang, and said to everyone in the audience, Since Princess Koxiang is so devoted to me, as a responsible man, I naturally can't be stage fright. Today is my wedding ceremony with Princess Koxiang. Chapter 134 Everything is purely coincidental and has nothing to do with the system. Everyone looked at each other, not knowing how to respond. In fact, this is the first time they have seen such a scene. Moreover, every time Sanju Starry Night holds a wedding, invitations are widely distributed first and then meticulous preparations are made to give the brides a perfect wedding. But now all they see is haste. Although it was because of Princess Koxiang's confession on the spot, but with Senju Xinai's financial resources, it is entirely possible to agree first, and then prepare for a solemn wedding that fits Princess Koxiang's status. If it is held on the spot now, it will undoubtedly appear very hasty. But since it was Senju Xinai who made this decision, their followers can only go along with it. Then, after Naro Luji applauded first, Everyone woke up and applauded vigorously, wishing the sudden new couple today. At this time, Boss Zhao quietly appeared in the corner, and gestured a few gestures to Senju Xenai. The meaning is very simple. Everything's ready. What to prepare? Nature is wedding preparations. During the three days that Boss Zhao escorted Princess Koxiang, it can be said that she had a profound experience of how obsessed Princess Koxiang is with Senju Starry Night. So even if he thought it was unlikely, he guessed that there would be a 253 chance of this happening. As the confidant of the boss, he is always ready to solve problems for Senju Starry Night, and naturally prepares for all possible situations. Then, there is now this scene. Senju Xinai nodded silently. Afterwards, under the amazed eyes of all the ninjas, all the dishes on their table were changed over and over again. It was replaced with more festive food, which is more in line with the food of the wedding scene. The excited Princess Koxiang was also invited to the backstage for makeup and dressing. As for Senju Starry Night, you only need to change into the groom's clothes. There is absolutely no need for extra steps such as makeup. His perfect and invincible handsome face does not need these extra embellishments. Are you sure it's okay? She's a princess after all. Senju Tsunade pulled her husband aside and whispered. As he spoke, he stretched out his hand to straighten Senju Xenai's slightly crooked collar. Senju Xenai smiled and said softly, Since she can't wait so much. Then I will do what she wants. Since she dared to confess to me in public, then naturally I can't back down. Sanju Tsunade gave him a, Sebj. Look, although she still felt a little hasty in her heart, since neither of them felt that there was any problem, she stopped talking. After, the wives of Sanju Starry Knight are dispatched together. All but Conan arrived at the scene. They were also very surprised at the beginning. They didn't expect that a welcome party would suddenly turn into the current situation. However, their mood changes are not as great as other ninja patriarchs, because they knew that it was an established fact that Princess Koxiang joined them, and it was nothing more than a few days later. It was too sudden. Yuzu Maki Kashina couldn't help complaining a bit. Why didn't you notify me in advance? Senju Xenai smiled and said. Since you know it's sudden, how can I notify you in advance? Okay, hurry up and take care of Mikoto, she is pregnant now, she must pay more attention. Yuzu Maki Kashina gave him a blank look and said. I don't need you to tell me. With Boss Zhao's intensive preparations, in less than half an hour, the entire party venue immediately turned into a luxurious wedding venue. Even if it is a temporary replacement, the efficiency of Boss Zhao is still amazing. As expected of the person entrusted with the important task by Senju Starry Knight. Thanks a lot, Senju Xinai said with a smile. As a reward, the money sold by Tanokini Daimyo is yours. Ding. Boss Zhao's eyes immediately turned into the shape of money, and he was very excited. I am so lucky to have such a generous boss, Kakuzumizai. With such rewards, Boss Zhao became more diligent in his work. Constantly busy, 
You can see his diligent figure everywhere. Although Sanjuk Sinai doesn't know how much the horn boss has sold, it is not worth mentioning for the wealth Sanjuk Sinai now has. And he can have such wealth now, of course there is a reason why he can always think of exquisite plans, but it is also inseparable from the diligent and hard work of the horn boss. Therefore, Sanju Starry Knight has long had a plan to reward the corner boss. Now it just happens to be the right time. If you want the horse to run, you must feed the horse. If you want the horse to run fast, you have to feed the horse well. Sanjuk Sinai naturally knows this simple truth. He is not the kind of vampire who picks his skin around and wishes. His employees 007 would not pay overtime pay every day. Then, under the hard work of boss Zhao, a grand wedding was held. After Princess Kaoxiang was well dressed, she was already lively and charming, and she added a noble temperament. After all, she is the daughter of a daimyo from the land of earth, and the temperament she has cultivated since she was a child must not be lost. She looked at the Senju Starry Knight waiting in front of her, her face full of excitement. Finally, the dream she pursued across a long distance is about to come true so soon. She was so excited that she was about to pass out. She didn't know what happened next. All I know is that when she came back to her senses again, she had become a minister who was alone with Senju Sinai in a new house. Are you ready? Senju Sinai gently embraced Princess Kaoxiang's shoulder. Um, at this time, Princess Kaoxiang was no longer as generous as before, only the shyness of the girl remained. Midnight. Princess Kaoxiang was already exhausted and fell into a deep sleep. Sanju Sinai is still in high spirits. But today is Princess Kaoxiang's wedding night, as a husband, at least at this moment, he absolutely cannot leave this room. Ding, congratulations to the host, the achievement has been triggered, and the reward cannot be claimed repeatedly. Sanju Sinai was taken aback by the sudden appearance of the system that hadn't moved for a long time. Immediately, his complexion became a little strange. The last time I was triggered into the soul, it happened to be Shai Ori's night. As a result, Kaoxiang also came to the soul now. Does it have something to do with their status as princesses? Sanju Sinai naturally knew that this speculation was totally unreasonable. All this is just a coincidence. But Sanju Sinai couldn't help guessing about their identities. After all, this is too coincidental. Both of them are princesses, and they delivered them to their door on their own initiative. Although Yuan Shizhi's original purpose is different from that of Princess Kaoxiang. However, the two of them were all in the same breath, which is really strange, and one has to wonder if the system is interfering with it. System, this should have nothing to do with you, right? All is purely coincidental and has nothing to do with the system. Forget it, it doesn't matter if it doesn't matter. Chapter 135 The fire burns the old leaves and illuminates the path of the new leaves. One shot into the soul. But this time there is no starting achievement, so naturally there is no reward. Naturally, the unformed child in Princess Kaoxiang's belly would not be born in the blink of an eye. It will take another ten months for this child to be born in this world. Early the next morning, Senju Xinai told Princess Kaoxiang the good news. Really? Am I really pregnant with Lord Xinai's child? Princess Kaoxiang was very happy, and she didn't doubt how Senju Xinai could see it. After all, they were only just yesterday, newlyweds. Senju Xinai said with a smile, Don't worry, I won't lie to you, I swear. Princess Asaka happily put her face on Sanju Sinai's broad and strong chest. I trust you. Her heart is sweet at the moment. Not only did he marry the person he liked, but he was also told that he had a child on the first day of marriage. Even if it was just a lie, it made her very happy. And half a month later, Sanju Tsunade confirmed that she was really pregnant, and she cried with joy. This is the crystallization of my love with Mr. Sinai. She caressed her lower abdomen intoxicatedly, even if there was no slight ups and downs yet. From this moment on, she already has the consciousness of being a mother. Aside, Sanju Tsunade whispered in Sanju Sinai's ear. How did you find out? Even though she knew that her husband had all kinds of magical abilities, he could even predict the direction of the child. But it was really incomprehensible for her to find out that she was pregnant half a month earlier than her professional doctor. Sanju Sinai smiled mysteriously. Simple two words can be described as a universal answer. Sanju Tsunade naturally didn't believe it. But after thinking about it, there is no other possibility besides this answer, and other less magical things that happened to Sanju Starry Knight. Madoka's child born overnight was amazing enough. No matter what happens to Sanju Sinai, Sanju Tsunade will not be surprised anymore. Get used to it. The summer sun gradually dissipated and turned into the coolness of autumn. Fifty years of Konoa, October 10th. This day, a person who could once influence the ninja world was born. It was born. A healthy boy, Sanju Tsunade came out of the delivery room and said to Namikaze Minato who was waiting at the door. Namikaze Minato immediately expressed his gratitude with joy. Thank you, thank you Hokage-sama. Sanju Tsunade, like her husband, is very optimistic about the young Namikaze Minato. Namikaze Minato has great potential, and already possesses cage-level strength at a young age. It will definitely be a very good combat power if it is cultivated in the future. This kind of good subordinate as long as he shows a little kindness, it is enough to make him show his loyalty wholeheartedly. Congratulations, Minato. Sanju Sinai stepped forward with a smile, 
and handed over the deed that had been prepared to Namikaze Minato. This is my wish, don't refuse. Seeing that Namikaze Minato was embarrassed, Tate Hoshiya immediately said with a straight face. It's not for you, it's for your children. Letting a child have a good environment will be of great help to his future growth. Namikaze Minato took it gratefully. Thank you, thank you Senju Patriarch. Go, don't keep the people inside waiting. Senju Starry Knight patted Namikaze Minato on the shoulder. The novice father who was a new father immediately walked into the delivery room with nervousness and anticipation. Senju Ksenai and Senju Tsunade stood outside smiling and shaking their heads. It's like seeing you when Gashina gave birth, Senju Tsunade said with a smile. Senju Ksenai said wonderingly. Am I that eager? He thought about it, maybe there was. Not only does he have his own biological child, but also because of the system, the child has a talent that surpasses most people. From now on, he doesn't need to worry about the child's future growth. He just needs to maintain a mood of anticipation and watch the child grow up healthy and strong. Maybe so, he said with a smile. By the way, when is Conan's due date? It should be soon. Senju Tsunade nodded. The estimate is next month, but at this point in time, it could be any time. Senju Tsunade said with a smile. Then leave it to the people in the room, let's go. However, it was Namikaze Minato who slowly retreated from the room. His face was still full of excitement that couldn't subside, obviously very excited. Dot 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 asking for flowers. Dot 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 zero. The child was not taken out by him so as not to be blown by the wind outside. Senju Ksenai watched him come out and left in no hurry. Minato, what do you plan to name the child? Namikaze Minato scratched the back of his head. He was still a stunned young man, and he didn't realize he was a father at all. I've already thought of the name. Just use the name of the main character in Master Jiria's Altar of Heroes novel. It's called Namikaze Naruto. Namikaze Naruto? That means, no use you Maki Naruto. Senju Starry Knight is slightly disappointed, but that's also clearing up the minister. Naruto's surname is Yuzu Yu Maki because Sarutobi Hayaruzen is worried about guessing Naruto's identity from the surname Namikaze and revealing his identity as Jinchuriki, so he can hide it. But the current Naruto is not Jinchuriki, so naturally he has no scruples in this regard. Namikaze Minato naturally makes his own children with his last name. Naruto, nice name, Senju Ksenai said with a smile. With your talent, Naruto will definitely become an excellent ninja in the future. Naruto's own talent is outstanding. Not to mention he is the reincarnation carrier of Ashura Chakra. Future achievements will certainly not be too bad. But now that the ninja world is under his interference, maybe he doesn't need him to be the savior. Stay with them well, this period is a critical moment. Don't forget to tell us if you need anything, Senju Ksenai said with a smile. Namikaze Minato scratched his head with embarrassment on his face. What's the point of that? Senju Tsunade suddenly put on a serious face. Put your chest out. Namikaze Minato was frightened and immediately straightened his back, raised his chest and stood upright. Yes, Senju Tsunade said seriously. Minato, you are a father now. Do you feel the burden on your shoulders? Namikaze Minato was infected by Senju Tsunade's emotions, and he also looked serious. I feel it deeply, Lord Hokage. The moment I saw Naruto, I swore in my heart that I would protect them with my life. Senju Tsunade nodded and said, Konoha is the cradle of children, the fire burns the old leaves to illuminate the light, and ignites the path of new leaves. This is the will of fire that we must abide by. Chapter 136 Burning New Leaves To Illuminate Yourself? Disgusting. On the way home, Senju Ksenai couldn't help but sigh with emotion. That's a good sentence, but some people just can't keep the words. Senju Tsunade looked at her husband suspiciously. What are you saying? Senju Ksenai said with a smile. I'm talking about what you just said to Minato. Senju Tsunade was even more puzzled. Isn't that Konoha's will of fire? Haven't you heard of it? Senju Ksenai squinted his eyes, staring at the sun in the sky, and said lightly. I have heard a lot of similar words, and I have read a lot in books. However, how many people in the village can do it now? I'm afraid many people can't understand the meaning of it, Senju Tsunade said with a smile. Then you are the ninja who underestimated Konoha. They are all excellent ninja 760, and they are the only ones who can make Konoha stand at the top of the five major villages. Senju Ksenai shook his head and said, I didn't underestimate them. I respect those who dare to go to the battlefield and dedicate their lives for the village. But there are some people who just annoy me. Senju Ksenai lowered his head and glanced at a tree involuntarily. A figure was hiding behind a tree trunk. Is the monitor of root? Hearing what he said, Senju Tsunade was also a little silent. She understood what her husband meant. It's nothing more than saying that the old men in the village are not good at repairing. A group of guys who relied on their age and qualifications to sell their elders. The teacher still cares about the village. If it wasn't for the support of the teacher, I am afraid that during the first Ninja World War, Konoha would. Senju Tsunade still couldn't help but say something for his master. This point, Senju Starry Knight also admitted. Maybe they were the heroes who saved Konoha when they were young. But now, I only see them destroying Konoha's foundation little by little. Senju Tsunade was silent. She is also very aware of this matter, especially after being on Hokage and knowing more things. The will of fire is to burn itself and light up new leaves. But what about them? 
burn new leaves to light themselves, Senjuks and I couldn't help laughing. In the third ninja war, if I hadn't made an alliance with the Reikage brothers, how much loss do you think Konoa would have suffered? I'm afraid that several times the names will be engraved on the memorial tablet. Senjutsu Nade remained silent. She couldn't argue with that. In this matter, she was also very disappointed with the senior management in the village. Okay, let's not talk about these old things. Now Konoa will only become stronger and stronger under our leadership. Senjuks and I put away the heavy atmosphere, smiled and hugged Senjutsu Nade's shoulders. I have this confidence. Do you have it? Senjutsu Nade said firmly. Certainly. Not good. Suddenly, Horn Boss appears. His face was very anxious. Boss, hurry home. Madam Conan seems to be giving birth. Although Boss Zhao felt very uncomfortable when he saw Conan for the first time, but after all Conan has become the concubine of his own boss, so he naturally doesn't want to talk too much. Sanjutsu Nade set off immediately, heading towards his own residence in a blink of an eye. Fortunately, they are not far from the station. As soon as he came back, Sanjutsu Nade immediately got fully prepared and rushed into the delivery room. Sanjutsu Sinai stood guard outside, frowning slightly. The due date was clearly next month. But it suddenly happened today? Although Sanjutsu Nade said before that it is possible at any time, how could it be so sudden? Was it an accident? Senjuk Sinai X and Chunin couldn't help being anxious. Although there is a system, everything is unknown before the child is born. Fortunately, he didn't have to wait too long inside. With a loud cry, Kienzi Sinai directly opened the door and walked in. How is Conan? He asked as soon as he entered the door, and then saw Conan who was slightly pale but still energetic. Sanjutsu Nade said with a sigh after handing the child over to Kashina who was helping. It's a boy, and he's still healthy, but he was born a month prematurely and everything needs to be carefully tested. But with our constitution, there will be no problem. Senjuk Sinai nodded, and at this time, he heard the notification sound of the multi-child multi-blessing system. Ding, congratulations to the birth of the 19th son of host. Drawing talent, talent 1, may sell, residual. Talent 2, flexible love. Talent 3, ever-changing. Dot. What are these? Except the first name is still acceptable, the second and third are too weird. And the may sell. Is it also a chef's talent? But he already has a chef talent, and Subaru can even make luminous dishes but improve his aptitude. Even if there is a, disabled, dotted behind this talent, Sanjuk Sinai can only give up helplessly. But the other two are too abstract. Flexible love? It feels like driving a car. Ever changing, is it a cross-dressing technique? With the transformation technique, this cross-dressing technique is completely useless, right? It seems that there is only one choice. Sanjuk Sinai side made his choice. Talent. Flexible love. Grade. B. Page level midterm. Talent introduction. A kind of ability to change the mind. You can turn your own chi into chewing gum and stick it to the enemy. Unless you use condensation. The chi will not be visible. The longer the air is pulled, the greater the force of retraction. But if it is stretched more than 10 meters, the breath will be broken. Stretchy love has both rubber and gum zest. After reading the talent introduction, Sanjuk Sinai was even more confused. What is mindfulness? What is gas? What is condensate? His mind is full of questions now but no one can answer. Although you can ask the system, but now is not the time. Let's talk about it after the matter here. Anyway, there is no rush. Introduction to other talents 5.6. May cells, residual, B+, special cells that can make themselves stronger by eating. The more delicious the food you eat, the stronger the power you will increase. But may cells appear in the body as demons. If they cannot be controlled, there will be unpredictable consequences. Kaleidoscopic. C plus, one of the 48 kinds of tegu, linear, it can be used as a trap or as a scout. The sharp wire can also easily cut the target and cause damage. Dot. It turns out that may cells actually mean this. What an eye opener. As long as you can eat, you can become stronger, it is the favorite of the big appetite king. However, may cells also have hidden dangers. If the may cells in the body grow into demons and cannot be controlled, it will be a dead end for all birds. Sanjuk Sinai is very thankful that he did not choose this may cell with a higher level of talent. Dot. Chapter 137 This kid must be very charming when he grows up. The kaleidoscopic change is also surprised Sanju Starry Knight. I thought it was a talent related to appearance camouflage, but I didn't expect it to be a thread. But the surprise is the surprise, it is not a pity that he was not selected for this talent. It's just a sharp line, not something worth caring about. Sanju probed into the Starry Knight and saw the child in Uzumaki Kashina's arms smiling at him, and immediately thought of his name. Just called him, Sanju Hisoka. Sanju Hisoka. Talent. Flexible love, B, Sanju bloodline, C plus, qualification, B plus, cage level peak, dot. Only B plus, it's still acceptable. The current Conan strength has not reached her peak. Of course, that would cost a lot of money. 600 billion detonating symbols, even for the current Sanju starry knight, is not a small amount. Conan and his children have this talent, which is not bad. Cannot force, ding, the talent of the offspring has been confirmed. Random feedback host rewards, 
Congratulations to host, you have obtained the equipment light 24th in illusion, frivolous illusion, grade, C+, equipment introduction, the surface is just a common cloth, but it can be attached to any position at will for perfect camouflage, it can camouflage the skin, cover the injured part, and pretend that there is no injury, it can also camouflage paper and cover it on other paper, and the content on it can be set at will, a piece of equipment with camouflage function can play a large or small role according to the usage situation, dot, it's not bad, at least it's much more useful than that inexplicable scissors, but in the hands of Senjuk Senai, this thing has no effect at all, he doesn't need this thing for camouflage, if you want to disguise, a transformation technique is enough, if the pursuit of authenticity, that is wood clone plus transformation technique, absolutely no one can see through, this thing is also used as a toy, clean up your mood, Senjuk Senai took over from Yuzu Maki Kashina, who was pregnant with Vice Admiral's child, and said while looking into his smiling eyes, He's going to grow up to be a very clingy kid for sure. These eyes will definitely be charming in the future. Conan was lying on the bed smiling. She didn't care what happened to the baby. As a mother, she now only hopes that her child can grow up healthy and healthy. After all, the child was born prematurely. What happened isn't the due date next month. Sanjuks and I looked up at Conan, and then at Yujik Sanjin. Conan raised his hand in embarrassment and scratched his cheek. Yuzu Maki Kashina said rather helplessly. All of this is the negligence of Conan's sister. She was obviously pregnant but she still didn't pay attention. As a result, she walked too fast and bumped into Sister Shizzy at the corner. And then, that's it. Senjuk Sinai said angrily, You have become a mother, and you are still so reckless. What will you do next time you get pregnant? When Conan heard this, his already pale face became even paler. Are? Are you still pregnant? It's not that she doesn't want to get pregnant, but Conan has only just been through the pain of labor, and now she really doesn't want to go through it anymore. At least not for a short time. However, these words fell into the ears of Sanjuk Sinai. But there was something inexplicable. What? Don't you want to have a baby for me? He suddenly leaned over to Conan and gently blew on her earlobe with a magnetic voice. There was a tinge of blood on Conan's pale face. His eyes looked flustered constantly. Oh me, or use Yumaki Kashina as the big sister, making a relief for Conan. Okay, don't bother sister Conan. Just had a premature birth. She needs to rest now. Don't mess around with me. Senju Starry Knight can't laugh or cry. Am I messing around? It's obvious that she doesn't want to give birth to me. Yuzu Maki Kashina comforted her husband, took the baby in his arms, placed it beside Conan, and then pushed Xing Xing I into and out of the delivery room. If it were me, I wouldn't give birth to you either. How can there be someone who just gave birth and immediately let the pregnancy continue? When we are machines that give birth to babies, Senju Xinai hugged his sweet wife with his backhand and said with a light smile, you know I don't mean that, I'm just confirming Conan's attitude, Yuzu Maki Kashina reached out and caressed Sanju Xinai's cheek, full of pampering, okay, okay, sister Conan is also scared, she's just been through labor, you know the pain, even when I gave birth to Nu, I didn't want to get pregnant, having a baby is really painful, the pain of childbirth, Sanju Xinai doesn't know how painful it is, but he also knows that this is not a common pain, I see, I was wrong just now, I will find time to apologize to Conan. Let her rest for now. He dragged Yuzu Maki Kashina to her room. Yuzu Maki Kashina followed him to his room with a confused face, and watched him close the door behind his back. Wait, what are you doing? It's still daytime. Senjuk Sinai said with a smile. Nawu is almost three years old now. Do you want to give her a real brother or sister? Yuzu Maki Kashina said angrily. Aren't your children all her younger brothers and sisters? You should be sad when you say 807 to other younger sisters. Senjuk Sinai immediately opened his mouth to himself. It was my fault. But you should understand what I mean. Yuzu Maki Kashina looked at him for a day and said, I'm your wife. Can I still refuse you? Senjuk Sinai burst out laughing. Yi Kang, who was left outside the door, heard Senjuk Sinai's hearty laughter from inside, and his cheeks turned red immediately. But at the same time, there is deep envy and longing in her eyes. These days following Sanjuk Sinai, she saw with her own eyes how warm the relationship between Sanjuk Sinai and his wife and concubine is. The children are also very cute and amazingly talented. At such a young age, Ganu and Luffy are almost at the level of Chunin. They're not even two years old. Although other children have not reached such an outrageous level, they also have their own extraordinary features. If my child with Mr. Sinai is born, will it be? Yi Kang couldn't help fantasizing in his mind and his cheeks became rosy, oops, what am I thinking, I am not yet Lord Xinai's concubine, I really want to be Lord Xinai's concubine, can I, I am quite the concubine of Mr Xinai, at this moment, Yi Kang with flushed cheeks followed her inner thoughts and made the final decision, dot, chapter 138 I will give you the best, after half a month of observation, Senju Hisoka, who was born prematurely, has no abnormalities in his body, but is very healthy, as Sanju Tsunade said, People with Sanju blood will naturally have no health problems. Now, the family members who were still worried were immediately relieved. Conan also buried her guilt deeply in her heart. At least, 
she can now laugh with confidence. The weather is getting dreary now. The cold wind blows, making people shiver. It is worth mentioning that. A few days after Conan went into labor, Yi Kang finally made up his mind and expressed his thoughts to Senju Xinai. Senju Starry Knight naturally agreed, leaving Yi Kang by his side. He himself had the same meaning. But this kind of thing can't be forced. It is only natural that the two should be happy. So Senju Star Yoruichi has been waiting patiently. He believes that with his current incomparable charm, Yi Kang will fall sooner or later. Then, after confirming that Hisoka's body was fine, Senju Xinai felt relieved and held a grand wedding with Yi Kang. Even a concubine's room is his woman to Senju Xinai. Naturally, he wants to give them the best. Whether it is food, clothing, housing, transportation, or various occasions, etc., the highest standards are required. The people in Konoa are used to it. There will be one or two weddings in Senju Starry Night every five days. Commoners can go and have a good meal. Ninjas can also get some benefits when they come over. Now, the big and small ninjas in the village have joined Kienki and Xinai's camp, except for the Sarutobi clan, Shimura clan and Yuakaiha clan. The Sarutobi family stands in a neutral position, which is also in line with the character of Sarutobi Hiruzen. The Shimura clan firmly supported Danzo, and they had no other choice. Needless to say, Yuakaiha, the sworn enemy of the Senju clan. Of course it is impossible to seek refuge with the Senju clan. If Yuakaiha Fugaku dares to make this choice, his patriarch status will be banned immediately. Even branded a traitor. Not to mention Yuakai Hafugaku hated Senju Starry Knight to death. How could it be possible to seek refuge with the Senju clan? Of course, Senju Xinai invited these three ninjas to the wedding. Who makes Senju Starry Knight an atmospheric person? At this moment, in a corner, Yuakai Hafugaku searched back and forth in the area of the Senju clan, but he never found the figure he was thinking of. Ah, why isn't Mikoto here? Could it be that bastard Sanju Starry Knight won't let you come out to see me? This hateful bastard actually blocked the relationship between me and you. What a villain. Jiria next to him was dumbfounded. Number. When did you have a relationship with Mikoto? Didn't you Akaiha Mikoto reject your wish and insist on marrying Kienki and Xinai? Have you forgotten what happened that night? Although Bei Aiwang in Jiria's heart is also married to Sanju Xinai, but he just feels regret in his heart. Not at all like you Akaiha Fugaku. The state of the other party is too strange. He took the bottle, came to Yuakaiha Fugaku, sat down and said, Brother Fugaku, I know you're in a bad mood, but don't let your imagination run wild. Man Mikoto is pregnant now, so naturally he needs to rest at home. Jiria came over, just to dispel Yuakaiha Fugaku's ridiculous thoughts. Let him feel calmer. Unexpectedly, after he finished speaking, Yuakaiha Fugaku actually cried. It's sad to cry. Just look at Jiria as a fool. No. What's the situation? My sister said what? Yuakaiha Fugaku's wailing caught everyone's attention. They looked at Yuakaiha Fugaku who was crying for no reason on the table, and then looked at Jiria who was bewildered next to him, and eight trigrams thoughts suddenly came alive. Couldn't help whispering. What did Master Jiria tell him? Why are you crying so sad? Could it be that Yuakaiha Fugaku has been in love with Jiria-sama for a long time, but was rejected? Are you being ridiculous? Who doesn't know that Yuakaiha Fugaku likes Master Xinai's concubine? Ah, uh, hush. You dare to say that? You're tired of working, aren't you? What's going on? It's too sad to cry. Who knows? But it must have something to do with Lord Jiria. It was fine before, but as soon as Lord Jiria passed by, he started crying. Could it be, Yuakaiha Fugaku really? No way, he's the head of the Yuakaiha clan. That's not necessarily the case. I heard that his wife was so angry that she ran back to her natal family a while ago, after the second son was left. I just ran back to my mother's house after giving birth. What do you think is going on here? This, is it so fancy? The world of these upper class people, we civilians naturally don't understand. It's so scary. It completely overturned my imagination. Listening to the increasingly outrageous speculation around, the corner of Jiria's mouth couldn't help twitching. Although he still doesn't know the root cause of Yuakaiha Fugaku's crying, it must have something to do with Yuakaiha Mikoto. But hearing what everyone said was so outrageous, he couldn't help but move his butt a little further away from Yuakaiha Fugaku. Senju Tsunade, as the master of ceremonies, looked at the farce over there with twitching corners of his mouth, then picked up the microphone in his hand, and opened his mouth to draw everyone's attention back. Dot 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 tilde cough cough. Today is a day of great joy. The two newcomers are about to embark on an important journey in their lives. The groom is Sanju Starry Knight, the head of our charismatic Sanju clan. Just when the identity of Sanju Xinai was introduced, there was a burst of howling ghosts and howling wolves. Ah, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. He's so handsome. Husband, I love you. Husband, I want to marry you. I want to be your bride too. Give me a chance, Master Hokage. I love you. Um, Sanju Xinai's eyes narrowed slightly and he glanced at the place where he spoke, and the baby took note of that person's face, Zhao Hao, she dared to think about my woman, it seemed that she was impatient, after that, they found a reason and sent him to the border area so that he would never come back, Senju Tsunade continues the introduction, the bride is Miss Hakura, 
who accompanies Senjuk Sinai day and night and fulfills her duties as a secretary with all her heart. After working for a long time, the two finally fell in love for a long time. Now, it's up to me to announce that Senju Starry Night and Miss Yi's wedding has officially begun. Oh, there was a sudden booing and shouting from below. Kiss one, I don't know which one yelled, which directly disrupted the process. It caused other guests to shout too. Kiss one, kiss one, kiss one. Senju Sinai and Yi Kang looked at each other, Yi Kang's cheeks were blushing and he just wanted to lower his head but Senjuk Sinai scooped it up. Then, the cheeks of the two gradually approached each other. Tilda. Chapter 139 I will definitely do my best to do research for you. Under everyone's attention, the grand wedding ended perfectly. Everyone is blessing the couple, although one of them can no longer be regarded as a newcomer. Only one sad person in the audience left crying, just because I didn't see the girl of my dreams. When he got home, Yuikai Hafugaku told his two sons what to do. You must protect Mikoto aunt's children. You know, you must not lose to other children of the Senju clan, but treat the children of Mikoto aunt as your brothers. Young Yuakai Huitachi had no idea how intricate things were going on inside. Regarding his father's instructions, he nodded very seriously. His immature face was full of seriousness. I see, father. We, Yuakai Husasuk, who was only a few months old, couldn't even speak, but just showed a cute baby smile. Early the next morning, Senjuk and I looked at Yi Kang who was sleeping soundly on the bed, and after ordering the maid outside the door to take good care of him. He left Sanju's residence. Okaimaru has business with him. It may be that some research has progressed. Come to the door of the laboratory. Still open the door and enter lightly, without disturbing Okaimaru who is doing experiments. But what surprised Sanju Sinai was that besides Okaimaru, there was a boy wearing glasses in the room. The boy was about seven or eight years old, and when he saw Kianzi Sinai, he immediately showed an embarrassed expression. Obviously, it is difficult for him to see such a big shot and he doesn't know how to deal with it. Senjuk Sinai saw that this person looked familiar. Looking at the other person's eyes and silver hair, he suddenly understood the other person's identity. Yakushi Kabuto, born in the Kono Orphanage, was taken in by Yakushi Nonu and named him. Although it is an orphanage on the surface, this orphanage is actually a place to secretly send talents for the route. All orphans will be selected to enter the route. After selection, those who survived join the route, and those who died naturally died. But, this Yakushi Kabuto should not have touched the route yet because Senjuk Sinai bought the orphanage owned by Konoa a long time ago. Cut off all their connections with the route. Yakushi Nono is still alive, and he did not die in front of Yakushi Kabuto, which made his world of view undergo earth-shaking changes. Unexpectedly, Yakushi Kabuto still came to Okaimaru's side. Is this the end of the world line? Even though Senju Starry Knight forcibly changed many things, many things that should have happened will still happen. Seeing that Yakushi Kabuto was very disturbed, Senjuk Sinai touched his lips with his fingers signaling to be quiet and not to disturb Okaimaru's experiment. Not long after, the experiment ended. Okaimaru took off his mask and turned to look at Sanju Starry Knight. You came? Sanju Sinai nodded, and said after licking his tongue, Why don't you introduce me? Okaimaru looked at Yakushi Kabuto and said, A very spiritual little guy, I plan to accept him as an apprentice and do research with me. Sanju Sinai nodded. Yakushi Kabuto is naturally very sporadic, and is the only person around Okaimaru who can keep up with Okaimaru's research. He is also the only person who has the forbidden technique of impure world reincarnation besides Okaimaru in the future. It can be seen from Okaimaru's plan to accept apprentices that Okaimaru values Yakushi Kabuto very much. But now, can Yakushi Kabuto, who seems a bit innocent now, be recognized by Okaimaru and get all his inheritance? Sanju Starry Knight doesn't know, and doesn't care. Anyway, Okaimaru is enough. Okaimaru's research and development capabilities are the strongest in the entire ninja world. What's the good news about calling me this time? Senju Starry Knight goes straight to the point. Okaimaru took a bag from the cabinet and handed it to Senju Starry Knight. According to your request, these are ice seeds that can grow in sea water. What do you want to do? Senju Sinai's eyes brightened. Have you researched it yet? Is there anything else? Said Okaimaru took out a few more seeds and said, There are also improved seeds of some fruits, which are all according to your requirements increasing production, increasing moisture and sweetness. This kind of research is very simple, except for seawater rice species, I leave it to do to deal with it. These are all researched by Du. Senju stared at Yakushi Kabuto in surprise. He knows that Yakushi Kabuto's research ability is very strong, only slightly inferior to Okaimaru. Unexpectedly, Yakushi Kabuto has such a strong research ability at this age. Studying this kind of thing is not only based on talent but also on mentality. Repeating the same research countless times requires extremely strong patience. A child like Yakushi Kabuto can have such a strong patience when he is lively and active. As expected, he was the one Okaimaru took a fancy to. Then you really did a good job, Yakushi Kabuto. Senju Sinai knelt down and rubbed Yakushi Kabuto's little head. Yakushi Kabuto was surprised when he heard it. Why do you know my name? Okaimaru was also taken aback. Although I said to, 
I didn't say his full name. Senjuks and I straightened up and said with a smile. I met Yakushi Nono in his orphanage. He was a very shy kid. I didn't expect to be picked by you and brought here. Okaimaru you understood. He also heard about Senjuks and I's purchase of Kono Orphanage. Yakushi Kabuto was indeed brought back from the orphanage by him. What Senjuks and I said is also very reasonable. Yakushi Kabuto looked at Senju Starry Knight adoringly. Unexpectedly, the hero who saved the orphanage actually remembered the name of this humble child. At this moment, a glorious mood was born in his heart. A great sense of happiness filled his little atrium. Relying on his courage, he shouted loudly. Master Senju Starry Knight, I will definitely work hard to research more seeds for you. Senju Hoshi Yoruichi was taken aback, then said with a smile. Don't be so eager, this is enough for now. It's good to do research slowly, this kind of thing can't be rushed. You are growing your body now, remember to go to bed early and get up early, and eat more. You know, Yakushi Kabuto looked at the heroic idol's smile, couldn't hear what Senju Ksenai was saying at all, and just nodded in a daze. Okaimara frowned slightly, keenly feeling that Yakushi Kabuto's current state of mind was very wrong. But Yakushi Kabuto in this state obviously can't listen to the words. It seems that we have to keep an eye on him for the past two days, lest he do research all night and burn out his body. Yakushi Kabuto is his recognized apprentice. If he damages his body because of studying these seeds, it will not be worth the candle. Hurry up and leave. Don't disturb me to continue the experiment. Okaimaru said with a bad face. Senju Ksenai smiled, turned around and left with the seeds. I didn't expect Okaimaru to be kind to this apprentice. Dot. Chapter 140 Can I let you eat raw melon eggs? Came to a tea house, went to a private room alone. Senju Ksenai looked at the seed in his hand. In addition to the seawater rice species developed by Okaimaru, Yakushi Kabuto developed a total of five types of fruit. These are very common fruits. Apples, oranges, tangerines, watermelons. Pears tilde. These seeds have been improved, and the fruit they bear is large, sweet enough, and full of water. In the relatively barren world of Ninja World, these fruits can be supplied to those nobles as advanced luxury goods. The price can be sold more expensive. In the future, we will be able to produce some affordable fruits that are suitable for ordinary people. But, it is almost November now, and the weather has turned cold. If you want to plant, you can only wait for the next year. Needless to say, seawater rice is for the country of water the country of Hefing. Both countries have very long coastlines, and they are relatively short of food. If this seed is marketed, it will definitely sell for a lot of money, although it cannot be compared with the high value of office buildings or products such as beauty and beauty products, it is still a good income for a long time. Well, let me sell it personally. Sanjuk Sinai searched for candidates in his mind, and quickly chose a very suitable person. The land of fire is located in the center of the ninja world, with four seasons and fertile soil. Now that winter is about to enter, it is not suitable for large-scale farming. Therefore, Sanju Starry Knight can only choose a place with a more suitable climate. For example, the country of thunder. My good brother, why do you come here when you are free? Third Rayakage opened his arms and embraced Sanju Ksenai. This enthusiasm is strong and it doesn't care that it's just a sleepy clone. Because Third Rayakage also knows that Senju Ksenai will not leave Senju's resident easily, let alone travel thousands of miles to the Land of Thunder. Now Third Rayakage is no longer Rayakage. He passed the position of Rayakage to his son, and his son also inherited the name Mei from him. From the first generation of Rayakage, the name of Rayakage itself will be abandoned, and the name Mei will be used instead. Third Rayakage, who has entered retirement life, besides practicing, is drinking and eating meat every day and his life is very uncomfortable. And with him sitting behind him, some opponents of Cloud Shinobi Village did not dare to be too blatant. Fourth Reikage's succession went smoothly. Senju Ksenai hugged Third Reikage backhand and said with a smile, I haven't congratulated your son on becoming the fourth Reikage yet, as your good brother, you should give him a big gift no matter what. I don't have many other things here, only houses. You pick whatever you want. Senju Ksenai directly placed a stack of house deeds in front of Third Reikage, allowing him to choose. In fact, when he took out these deeds, he had no intention of taking them back. He doesn't know how much assets he has now, and it can be said that he is making money every day because he underestimates the earning power of Boss Zhao. Sending away these dozen or so villas is completely harmless to him. As long as he thinks, he can slap his hands casually, and he can have everything he wants. Ah ha I'm not going to be polite to you, brother. Third Rayakage is also unambiguous, he knows that these things are nothing to his brother. But this kind of house that can increase the speed of chakra's condensation is indeed very sought after. Especially the more luxurious the house, the better the effect. The value of these villas is very high. Whether you live by yourself or use these to win over your confidants, there will always be something useful. Come, 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 it's rare for you to come. Today we won't go home if we're not drunk. Third Rayakage hadn't seen Senju Starry Night for a long time, and he was very excited. He wanted to drink all that night with Senju Starry Night. But Senju Starry Night has something to do. Wait a minute. I'll show you something good, and I'll drink it later. Hearing that there are good things, 
Third Ray Ikid is not in a hurry anymore, only curious. What good things can you come and deliver in person? Senjuk Sinai smiled and said, It's just some gadgets, made in spare time, to enjoy life. Third Ray Ikid was even more curious. I've been betrayed, quickly take it out and let me see it. Senju stared at Third Ray Ikid's yard, shook his head and said, It's too small here. I need a bigger space. Third Ray Ikid looked at his 500 square meter courtyard, and thought to himself, This is still small, brother, how big is the thing you want to take out? But since the brother mentioned it, Third Ray Ikage naturally patted his chest to do so. Immediately brought Sanjuk Sinai to an open space near his home. It looks like a piece of farmland here, but it is just fallow now, so there are all kinds of things. Dot. Seeking flowers zero. Brother, is it okay here? Sanjuk Sinai nodded, and then took out a seed. When Third Ray Ikage saw it, he was immediately puzzled. Seed? What kind of seed is this? Sanjuk Sinai smiled and said. You'll find out later. Chakra in the body stimulated and the sleepy emperor merged into the seed. Then he dropped the seed, which contained a lot of wood-style power, into the ground. Immediately afterwards, the seed began to germinate and grow at a speed visible to the naked eye. The tiny vines became thicker and thicker, and the number began to increase. They spread in all directions, and soon they occupied an acre, and then another. After expanding to a hundred acres of land, it finally stopped expanding. Point zero zero. But it's not over yet. Immediately afterwards, various parts of the vine began to blossom and bear fruit. Soon. Gigantic watermelons appeared one by one. The watermelon has clear stripes, smooth and shiny, and it looks like a good melon. And all them are of great size, none of them is less than 30 catties. This, Third Ray Ikid stood among the vines in amazement. Unexpectedly, a small seed turned into a whole melon patch in the blink of an eye. There are at least tens of thousands of these watermelons. He picked up a watermelon and weighed the partitions. It's heavy in the hand and full of weight. Third Ray Ikid turned his head to look at Sanju Starry Knight, still in disbelief. Sanju Sinai said with a smile. Don't worry, this melon is guaranteed to be ripe, can I let you eat raw melon eggs? Third Ray Ikage split the watermelon with a knife. The watermelon split in two, and a fresh fragrance entered the nostrils immediately, touching the nose of the main generation. Ray Ikage, Gudong, swallowing heavily, Third Ray Ikage couldn't wait to eat. As soon as the melon meat entered the mouth, Third Ray Ikage's eyes lit up. Delicious. I've never tasted such a sweet watermelon with so much water. It was so delicious. Senjuk Sinai said with a smile. How is it? Is it delicious? I plan to sell you some seeds and then you grow them and sell them to those nobles at a high price, and they will definitely be willing to buy them. When Third Ray Ikage heard it, his eyes lit up. Worthy of being my good brother, even if you make money, don't forget my brother. Chapter 141 Little Mother and Big Mother These seeds have no ability to continue to grow. In other words, it is impossible to rely on these seeds to continuously obtain improved fruits. Sanju Starry Knight will not do such a thing that is cheap for others. He doesn't intend to make a one-shot deal. Only by firmly holding these high-quality fruits in their own hands can the prices of these seeds rise. Moreover, not every seed can harvest such a large piece. These seeds became like this after he specially ripened them with wood style. But even after Sanju Sinai told all this to Third Ray Ikage, Third Ray Ikage was still very excited. Don't look at Third Ray Ikage as a muscle man, but his head is not all muscles. The value of these fruits, as long as he thinks about it, he knows that it must not be low. But how to create these values depends entirely on how 700 fools those nobles. As for businessmen, there is no need to fool around. As long as this fruit is made into an aristocratic brand, those businessmen will naturally spend their pockets to enjoy the luxury that only nobles can enjoy. You are really a good baby. Even if we don't have the same output as our own, as long as the fruit is exactly the same as now, I am sure to make a lot of money. Third Ray Ikage looked a little emotional. In this way, the money borrowed from your bank will be guaranteed to be returned to you. This is also something that has worried Third Ray Ikage recently. Sanju Bank is his brother's bank. In order to let the people of their Cloud Shinobi village live in the Sanju property, they loaned so much money to the people of Cloud Shinobi village. This kindness moved Third Ray Ikage very much. At the same time, there was guilt in my heart and I kept thinking about how to return the money as soon as possible. Now, with these high-quality fruits, Third Ray Ikage seems to have figured out what to do. Of course, specific things will definitely be handed over to people who are better at shopping. Senjuk Sinai smiled. There is no need to worry about the money. Anyway, the interest I borrowed from Cloud Shinobi Village for you is the lowest. Just pay it back slowly. Buying a Senju real estate house with a loan from Senju Bank, to Senjuk Sinai, it is nothing more than passing his money from his left hand to his right hand. He will not lose much money, but will also increase a borrower, and these borrowers are all the bank's income. So the more people borrow, the happier Senju Starry Knight will be, because this means that his potential wealth will increase. After finalizing the purchase of seeds with Third Ray Ikage, Kianzik Sinai handed over the matter to the boss to take full responsibility, and Senju Starry Knight is also considering whether to sell only finished products. With his wood style, there is no need to think about seasons and fallows. Moreover, the number of such treasures is scarce, 
so it is easy to control the price. Think about it, Sanjuksanai finds it more convenient to sell finished products. As for third ray ikage, seeds are also available continuously. Third ray ikage does not have wood style, and the quantity that can be planted is limited, so it is impossible to affect the pricing. And they can completely unify the price. It will have no effect at all. Little mother, isn't the eldest mother coming out today? Sanju Tamamo looked up at Yuzumaki Kashina curiously. Usually, the eldest mother, the Nine Tails mother, always comes out to meet her daughter at a certain time. Yuz I will also look forward to meeting the eldest mother. But today the eldest mother did not come out uncharacteristically. This immediately made Yuz A very curious. Yuzumaki Kashina held Tamama May's little hand and said with a smile. Does Xiao Yuz I want to see the eldest mother? Tamamo nods her head. Then I'll talk to your eldest mother and let her come out to see you. Yuzumaki Kashina said, closed his eyes, and entered the sealed space. Once inside, she heard a distraught voice. Damn it, it's so easy to lose. I obviously thought about it for a long time before I came up with a solution. Yuzumaki Kashina looked very annoyed when she saw Nine Tails' back turned to her. What's the matter? Xiao Yuzao still wants to see you. Um, Nine Tails turned her head and saw that it was Yuzumaki Kashina. Her face softened, but she still looked ugly. Taking a closer look, Yuzumaki Kashina also saw a very tired look on her face. How could the Nine Tails girl who has been sealing the space get tired? There is only one possibility. Thinking of this, Yuzumaki Kashina couldn't help but smile. Are you still playing that game with your husband? It's amazing willpower, who is playing games with him. The Nine Tails girl looked very dissatisfied with the hair on her ears and tail, as if she had been guessed by a cat with a tail. I'm not willing to think about the good countermeasures for days and nights, but it doesn't work at all. Next time. I must let him throw away his armor and taste the pain of failure. Nine Tails held her head high, and it might have been more convincing if she ignored the thick dark circles under her eyes. Yuzumaki Kashina said helplessly, but haven't you been successful for so long? Niang Nine Tails stared and said angrily, what nonsense are you talking about? I just haven't found a way yet. When I find his weakness, it's time for him to beg me for mercy. Ah yes yes yes. Yuzumaki Kashina spoke perfunctorily, and immediately changed the subject. By the way, before you go to meet Xiao Yuzao, she wants to see you. Huh? It's already this time? Only then did Nine Tails notice the passage of time. She stepped forward and said. Then you stay here for a while, I'll go outside for a while. Yuzumaki Kashina nodded. And outside, Yuzumaki Kashina with eyes closed his fox ears on top of his head and a fox tail behind him. Opening his eyes, his eyes lost the gentleness of the past, and instead became very sharp. But after seeing his daughter, this fierceness immediately subsided and turned into wireless gentleness. But when 1.2 is soft and gentle, the words in Nine Tails' mouth will definitely not be so soft. Little girl, do you want to see me so much? She stretched out her hand and rubbed the small head in front of Yu's Oh, very pampering. Tamamo nods happily. Because I like big mama. Ha ha, you are indeed my good daughter. With a simple sentence, the depression in Nine Tails' mother's heart disappeared a lot. By the way, what are we playing this time? Are you still playing the game of change? Yu's Ao hesitated for a moment before saying, I've played by Anbianbian. Are there any other games? That's it. Nine Tails rolled her eyes and immediately thought of a good idea. Well, let's play with you. Okay. Tamezamo suddenly jumped up happily. Dot. Chapter 142 Rice grown in seawater, referred to as sea rice. Sanju returned home in a starry night, just about to hand over the watermelon he brought back to his wives to taste. I saw Yuzumaki Kashina coming head on. Wrong. Looking at the pair of fox ears. Kienzi Xinai immediately put away his previous judgment. Why did you come out so early today? Is it to see our daughter? The Nine Tails lady who came over pretended to be dissatisfied and snorted, but this movement made Kienzi Xinai frown slightly. Taking a closer look, I suddenly felt something was wrong. Wait, what's going on? He carefully observed the Nine Tails mother in front of him suspiciously, and felt more and more uncomfortable in his heart. And the Nine Tails mother in front of him also became a little flustered, and she stuttered when she wanted to say something. Yes. Is there anything strange, huh? This tone of speaking. Sanjuks and I frowned slightly. You are not grammar, who are you? Etc. Sanjuks and I looked at the eyes of Nine Tails' mother in front of him. The innocence made him have a little guess. So, a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Is it Kotamama May? Have you been able to achieve this level of 27 degrees? The mother Nine Tails in front of her immediately panicked. I, I'm not, I'm a little mother. Ah, mother Nine Tails quickly covered her mouth, but she won't take back her wrong words. Ah. Uh, it's really boring. On the other side, the real Nine Tails girl showed up helplessly, staring at Sanju Xinai with dissatisfaction. Can't you cooperate well? This look, this tone, this is the Nine Tails girl I know. Sanju Xinai smiled with satisfaction, and the Nine Tails girl in front of her turned into a little Tamamo May with a bang. How did Dad know? I obviously became the same as the big mother. Tamamo looked up curiously. Sanju Xinai squatted down, hugged Xiao Yu's oh, nodded her little nose and said, How can I not help my baby girl? And you are you. Your big mother is your big mother, 
You are completely different. Give your daughter back to me. Nine Tails' mother unceremoniously snatched Vice Admiral's own daughter from Sanju Xinai's hand. There is not much time to show up in a day, and she still has to spend time with her daughter. Sanju Xinai let her take Xiao Yu's hour away, seeing Nine Tails' mother's white A's. He just smiled. By the way, what is this in your hand? Only then did Nine Tails see the big watermelon in Sanju Xinai's hand. She sniffed with her little nose and smelled the fresh fragrance. It smells good and it's the first time I've seen such a big watermelon. This is my new research, and I plan to give you a taste. Sanju Xinai has the cheek to claim Yakushi Kabuto's research results as his own. It is not wrong to say that, at least he proposed the subject of the research, and Yakushi Kabuto is the person who completed the research. He also participated in the research process. At least without him, this research would not exist. Such a big watermelon, they must not be able to finish it alone. Soon, all the family gathered together to taste this juicy sweet and juicy watermelon. Everyone unanimously praised it. The snack food Luffy looked disappointed when he saw that it was gone. Don't worry, you can eat as much as you want. How could Sanju Starry Knight make his own children hungry? With a wave of his hand, a scroll was drawn. With a bang, a lot of fruits appeared in front of everyone. Woohoo! Little Luffy cheered and jumped into the pile of fruits to wander. The other children also cheered and rushed forward. Apparently these fruits have totally captured their hearts. For a while, the courtyard was filled with cheerful laughter of children. I didn't expect the Senju Patriarch to come in person, I don't know why. Liu Osha looked at Senju Xinai who came to visit suddenly with a smile on her face, or the wood clone from Senju Starry Night. But in his heart, Liu Osha's very dissatisfied with Senju Xinai, because Yi Kang, who designed the assassination, became Senju Xinai's concubine. This made Liu Osha feel a thorn in his heart. After all, Yi Kang must hate himself very much. And now that Sanju is on the list with a super thigh, maybe he will secretly do something to him. There is no need to shoot him, just make some stumbling blocks on Sanju's real estate or the receiving bank, and his Kaiskid position in Liu will immediately become shaky. In order to repay the arrears, Liu Osha has been frantically collecting gold dust in the desert for a while. After finally repaying the two billion war indemnity, he still bears the huge debt of Sanju Bank. The huge pressure almost made Liu Osha unable to breathe. So even though he was smiling at the moment, Liu Osha wished that Sanju Xinai himself would appear in front of him. In that case, he will definitely kill Sanju Xinai at all costs. It's nothing, I came here this time to make a deal with Lord Fenying. Click. Liu Osha had a bad premonition in his heart. He still hasn't even paid off the debt, but Sanju Xinai came to do business again. Where did he get the money here? Because the last time the landscaping was handed over to Daimyo for payment. Damio was already very dissatisfied with himself. Definitely can't find a big name. In that case, his fennying position may be removed directly. If you want to be Kazkage, you need the approval of a Damio. However, it is definitely not acceptable to directly refuse. That's too impolite, and it's worth Sanju Xinai coming to the door in person instead of Boss Zhao. This incident also made Liu 593 very curious. Not directly. What is the so-called transaction of the Sanju Patriarch? Master Kazkage. Don't be nervous, this thing is a precious treasure for your country. A very precious treasure? Only for our country? You can say that. Seeing Sanju Xinai nodding, the curiosity in Liu Osha's heart immediately took over. Can I have a look at the real thing? It is this. Sanju Xinai took out sea rice seeds and placed them in front of Liu Osha. Liu Osha narrowed his eyes and quickly recognized what kind of seeds these were. This is the seed of rice? No. Sanju Xinai shook his head and said, strictly speaking, it is a rice species specially grown in seawater so it should be called sea rice. Liu Osha was speechless at first, but then he reacted, his eyes gradually widened. What Patriarch Senju said is true. Is this rice that grows in seawater? It's absolutely true. Senju Xinai nodded and said, I am the Patriarch of Senju, and I will definitely not sell fakes to you. I bought it. Rosa shouted excitedly, as much as you want. A smile appeared on the corner of Senju Xinai's mouth, then he shook his head regretfully and said, Unfortunately, I don't have many seeds in my hands now. Chapter 143 500 dls, not 5 million dls. The excited smile on Liu Osha's face suddenly froze. The disappointment was evident on his face. The rice that can be grown in China is indeed miraculous, and it can solve the food problem for the land of the wind that lacks planting land. But the rice won't do any magic if it doesn't produce enough. Although the landscaping operation in the land of the winds is underway, it is progressing rapidly, but it is impossible to change the land in a short time. Even if Sanju Starry Night turns the entire land of winds into a forest, it will take a long time to change the geology here. Greening is a long-term investment, the return is difficult to see, but it is very necessary. Sanju Xinai felt a little funny watching Liu Osha's complexion change. Liu Osha can become fennying, and he can frame others without making a fuss, so the skill of disguising must be very good. But even so, 
Liu Osha still couldn't hide the excitement on his face after hearing the magic of sea rice seeds. For the land of winds, food is the most troublesome issue. They are short of supplies, and they are the countries with the most severe famine among the five heavens kingdoms. It can't be blamed that Liu Osha's emotions are too agitated. Don't worry, Your Excellency Fenying. Although there are not many now, it is not a good time to plant, isn't it? Senjuk Sinai said with a smile. However, we have to wait until next year. At that time, I will definitely have enough seeds for you. At this time, Liu Osha's expression had calmed down a lot, although his trembling fingers still revealed his unconcealable excitement, at least on the surface. He has recovered the indifference of the shadow of a village. In this case, in terms of price, Liu Osha regretted secretly. He knew that his excitement just now would definitely cause Sanjuk Sinai to increase the price of seeds substantially. But no matter how high the price is, he will still buy this seed, because, as long as the seeds are successfully planted, they will be able to have a steady stream of food and no longer need to worry about food. If Sanjuk Sinai knew Liu Osha's inner thoughts, he would definitely say, you think too much. Sanju Starry Knight refers to this kind of seed to sell money. How could it be possible for the seeds to be cultivated? These seeds are all disposable, and the ears of rice planted can only be used for eating, not for planting. Sanju Starry Knight pursues a long-term deal, not a one-time deal. Only long-term trading will bring more value. A one-shot deal might be able to get a lot of money at the beginning, but the key is, is the kingdom of wind rich now? Among the five great nations, only the Daming Mansion in the Land of Wind owes money to Sanju Starry Knight. Although other Daimyos have bought a lot of products from Sanju Starry Knight, they still have enough pressure. This is the benefit of having enough resources. The Kingdom of Winds does not have such a natural advantage. Therefore, Kian Kian Xinai is very clear that the Kingdom of Chufeng can't squeeze out much oil and water at all. It's better to take the long-term route and let the people of the Wind Country spend their entire lives working part-time to pay off their debts. Leaving aside the price, I'm here this time to show His Excellency Kazkage the harvesting of this seed. Dot. After all, what I say is unfounded, it's better to have the actual Lord Jifenying take a look. Sanju Xinai did not open his mouth to talk about the price. Anyway, the price of seeds can't be too high. If it is too high, Liu Osha may buy it the first time, but he will definitely not buy it the second time. For the first time, Liu Osha will think that after planting more seeds will be harvested. But after knowing that the harvested food cannot be planted again, he will not buy such high-priced food. With that money, it is better to buy finished food directly, and save the labor history or planting. Oh well, it's a pity for Liu Osha, but the initiative is on Sanju Xinai's side, and he can't force it. Since it is necessary to show the specialness of the seeds, it is natural to plant them by the sea. Liu Osha brought several high-level officials to the beach with Sanju Xinai. Xiao was also one of those who came with him. She looked suspiciously at the seeds in Sanju Xinai's hands. Her face full of doubts. Can this thing really grow in the sea? I've never in my life heard that this thing can grow in the sea. Can I eat it? Faced with Chiyo's question directed at the core, Liu Osha was also stunned for a moment. Yes, is this edible? After all, I have never heard of rice grown in seawater. But it's here, let's take a look and talk about it. Sanju Xinai ignored the whispers behind him. He just took a handful of seeds and injected Wood Style's Force Zone. Then sprinkle it on the sea. Although it can be planted in seawater, the height of the rice is there so it must not be thrown too far. Under the power of wood style, the rice matures quickly. In full view, the heavy ears of rice attracted everyone's attention. It can really grow. Liu Osha muttered to himself. Chiyo was still very puzzled. Don't be fooled, maybe it is something to do with the other party's wood style. We may not be able to grow it when we get it. It must be said that Chiyo was very cautious. Various possibilities were considered. After all, Chiyo doesn't like Konoa especially her son and daughter-in-law died at the hands of Konoa's Hatake Sukumo. It can be said that she hated Konoa. I'm here to make a deal, and naturally I won't sell unusable products to customers. Senjuk Sinai said with a smile. If you feel that there is a problem, you can come forward to check it. I want to see if there is any problem with your eyes. Chio stepped forward unceremoniously, and grabbed the ears of rice. With a rubbing of the palms, the husks were immediately separated, revealing the undamaged rice. The rice is crystal clear, full of grains and it is the best at first glance. Chia took a few stuffers and chewed them, and felt a faint fragrance, even a little salty. There is no doubt about this rice. At least it won't be a problem to eat it. But Chia still snorted coldly, and said in a strange way, It's true, but how much do you plan to sell this kind of thing? Shouldn't it be the same as your house, where a seed sells for 500,000 tls? When Liu Osha heard this, her heart tensed up. If there is no problem with the rice, the most important thing is the price of the seeds. Senjuk Sinai said with a smile. How can it be? He held out his palm and spread his fingers. One bag of seeds, 500 tls. Liu Osha's eyes widened immediately. 500 tls? Are you sure it's not 5 million tls? Senju Xinai said just as dumbfoundingly. It's just seeds, how could it be so expensive? But the price is too cheap. Of course, 500 tls is really expensive for common rice seeds. But compared to the many products under Senju Starry Night, 
This is really too cheap. It was really hard for you. Oh, shall not doubt the price. Dot. Chapter 144 Send you starry night can't wait for rice that can be planted in the orchard. The price of a bag of 500 gills is indeed not expensive, because this bag is only one or two heavy, according to Senju Xinai's estimate. If the food crisis in the land of winds is to be completely resolved, at least the entire coastal area must be planted with Shanghai rice. In this case, at least hundreds of thousands of catties of seeds are needed. In this case, it will cost billions of gills just to buy seeds. However, at the very beginning, Liu O should definitely not buy too many seeds. After all, what I see now is ripened directly by Senju Starry Night. It is not known what problems would arise if they grew their own. Everything still needs to be cautious. Moreover, they don't have much funds now, and they are really struggling. If it's this price, I'd like to buy it first. Liu Osha thought about the money in his hand, and finally gritted his teeth and said, Give me 5,000 catties first, and I'll try it tomorrow. 5,000 catties, much less than expected. But it can also be seen from the current financial constraints of Sunaga Cure. Senju Xinai smiled and nodded. Okay. When the quantity of seeds is enough, I will ask Boss Zhao to bring the goods over. At that time, Your Excellency Fenying only needs to hand over the money to Boss Zhao. 150 thank you, Chief Senju. Liu Osha let out a long breath. In fact, Sunaga Kyo's economy is even more difficult than Senju Starry Night thought. A large part of the money for buying these seeds came from Liu Osha's own private treasury. Chiu pouted, feeling full of dissatisfaction. But she also knows that this kind of matter is of great importance, and she can't do whatever she likes. If that's the case, then I'll say goodbye again. I hope we can cooperate happily. After Senjux and I finished speaking, he released the wood clone with a bang, turning into a tree trunk and falling to the ground. And the same situation is also staged on Kiragakure. Although the country of water is richer in resources than the country of wind, the planting area is not high. It is more dependent on the output of aquatic products. After all, the country of water is composed of a large island. The coastline is much more than the country of the wind and the area that can be planted is naturally very large. Citrus Yugara quickly decided on the quantity to buy after seeing the actual situation. Compared with Rosa, Citrus Yugara is much more generous. I bought 50,000 catties of seeds at one time. It can be seen that there is still a lot of oil and water, CHFC, to fish in the land of water. Sanjuk Sinai thought with a smile, and brought the news back to the main body. As for what kind of projects to completely squeeze out the economies of these countries as Vice Admiral, Kian Sinai still needs to think about it carefully. Okaimaru, I have a big order for you. Senju Xinai came to the lab with a smile. Okaimaru, who was about to do the experiment, rolled his eyes and had to stop what he was doing. Huh? Isn't your little apprentice here? There is no sign of Yakushi Kabuto in the lab, making Senju Xinai very curious. He, he has been obsessed with those useless experiments you gave recently, and he lacks rest extremely, so I forced him to rest. Okaimaru said with a blank face, looking very dissatisfied. Ah ha ha, Senju Xinai is helpless and he cannot be blamed for this. Who made his charm too strong? Yakushi Kabuto, who was still a simple boy, completely regarded him as an idol, and tried his best to respond to any request from the idol. Well, let's not talk about him, I brought you an order. About the order for sea rice seeds, can we produce 55,000 catties before next month? Senju Xinai quickly changed the subject, but Okaimaru's snake eyes still stared at him coldly, which only made him feel a little creepy. Cannot, huh? Why? I do not want to do. Um, are you so capricious? I don't want to do duplication studies that don't make sense. Then why don't you tell others the steps? At least let me complete the order. That's your own business. If nothing else, don't bother me. Okaimaru mercilessly issued the order to evict the guest. Obviously there is a lot of dissatisfaction with Sanju Starry Night. Sanju Xinai is helpless. Now Okaimaru is a valuable researcher, and there are still many aspects that need to rely on him to help in the future. Still have to coax well. Since Okaimaru is in a bad mood today, Come back in two days. How about looking for Yakushi Kabuto? Yakushi Kabuto should know how to do it, right? Forget it anyway. Otherwise Okaimaru would have gone berserk. Then I'll go first. You should be busy first. Senju Xinai had no choice but to leave temporarily. But just as he turned to leave, Okaimaru, who had his back turned to him, said suddenly. There are already some clues about the number 18 experiment. Experiment number 18? Senju Starry Night Media frowned slightly. Could it be? Can't you even remember the research plan you set up? Okaimaru looked back dissatisfied. His eyes gradually became cold. Ah ha ha. Senju Xinai hurriedly laughed. Of course I know. Isn't it the rice seed with chakra? Then his face became serious. Does it really look good? Okaimaru turned around and said. If the current progress is followed, results will be achieved in a year at the earliest. However, this is just my estimate and the specific situation still needs to see the progress of the research. As long as you don't ask Du to help you with those unnutritious experiments, this time may be brought forward. F.K. Senjuk Sinai smiled wryly. Okaimaru must have guessed what he was thinking just now. Understood. 
I won't find a bag to do those simple experiments again. Other studies can be temporarily put aside. This study must be completed as soon as possible. The rice seed that contains chakra, after eating the grown rice, it can implicitly increase the amount of chakra in the body. If his children grow up eating this kind of rice from an early age, maybe not all of them will be chakra at the level of human-tailed beasts in the future. Thinking of this, Sanjuksinai's depressed mood of being rejected suddenly dissipated. Although it is still a year before it is possible to study it, at least there is hope. Then just wait patiently. What's more, when this kind of rice is handed over to his son Subaru, I don't know what kind of cooking it will make. Sanju Starry Knight can't wait. If Sanjuk Sinai is most looking forward to one of his children growing up as soon as possible, it is naturally his Pleiades. Because he has had enough of the monotonous food in the ninja world, he needs Pleiades to quickly satisfy his appetite with countless delicacies from the eight major cuisines. Now that the child can walk, it's time to cultivate his cooking skills. Sanju Sinai ran home non-stop, found Subaru who was taking a slow walk with his mother, and carried him directly to the kitchen. Dot. Chapter 145 Did you say I was a VIP member for you? Sanju Starry Knight's plan ultimately failed. Although he was still young, Subaru was very interested in the kitchen, and when he saw it, he grabbed the stove and didn't want to leave. But he is too small, and unlike his new sister and luffy big brother, who have already reached the level of genin after one year old, the current Subaru just learned to walk and run faster than ordinary children. With his strength, he couldn't lift all kinds of kitchen utensils at all. If it is too reluctant, it will only hurt the young Jing crossing. As a father, Sanju Sinai naturally would not let his son be harmed for his own appetite. This impromptu plan naturally ended in failure. Husband, you are too eager, although you have said that Subaru can become a famous chef in the ninja world. But he is only over one year old now, and he has just learned to run. It is too early for him to learn cooking. Snatching Vice Admiral's own precious son from the arms of Sanju Starry Knight, Yi Yumano couldn't help but troll her eyes. Yi Yu on the side is holding her child Sanju Wang when snickering on the side. Apparently seeing the rare scene where Sanju Starry Knight is scorned is a very rare thing for Yi Yu Ali. Not to mention that it is her elder sister Yi Yu Marina who scolds Sanju Starry Knight, because usually this kind of thing is done by Sanju Tsunade. I see, Sanju Tsunade definitely pulled his head looking depressed. It seemed that he still had too high expectations for Pleiades. I thought that Pleiades could show extraordinary things at a young age like Nibu and Luffy. Looking at it now, it is because Nu and Luffy are special that they are so special. Husband, the new year is coming soon, how do you plan to spend this time? Yuzu Maki Kashina looked at Senju Starry Knight with a hint of curiosity on his face. Usually, Senju Starry Knight will show off its financial resources during the new year making Kono a village lively. Countless civilians enjoyed a rare relaxation during this time. No need to worry about work, no need to worry about repaying debts, and you can enjoy delicious food for free. There are even various celebrations organized by Sanju Starry Night, and the various performances on them dazzle them even more. For Sanju Starry Night, celebrating the new year has a very special meaning. Therefore, no matter what price he pays, he will make his new year as lively as he remembers. Only in this way can we have the taste of Chinese New Year. This time, this time I am going to make a big surprise, I hope you will like it then. Senju Sinai showed a mysterious smile. Sure enough, Yuzu Maki suddenly showed a look of anticipation. I am looking forward to the surprise arranged by my husband. Look forward to it, it will definitely open your eyes. Sanju Starry Knight smiles, taking Yuzu Maki Kashina away. The two sat on a bench in the courtyard looking at the beautiful sunset in the distance together. Time flies by. Soon came the 51st month of Konoa. During these two months, Senju Starry Knight obtained the formula for making improved rice seeds from Okaimaru, and then arranged for a large number of researchers to start mass production. Eventually the required number of rice seeds was handed over to Kirigakura and Sunagakura in early December. The senior officials of the two villages who got the rice seeds were very happy and couldn't wait until Tuchan planted these rice seeds. But for them, how to protect them to thrive during the growth period of several months is also a problem. The waves on the sea are much more turbulent than the rice fields. If one of them is not protected well, I am afraid that all of their rice seeds will be lost. But that's about Kirigakura and Sunagakura. Nothing to do with Sanju Starry Night. As the time draws closer to the new year, Kono a village is gradually showing a celebratory atmosphere. The streets were decorated with lanterns and festoons, and every household hung up lanterns. All of these are funded by Senju Starry Night. In order to restore the scene in memory, all the restaurants and hotels belonging to the Senju property offer dumplings with various fillings. Dumplings full of various flavors have been warmly welcomed by the villagers as soon as they appeared. The price is not expensive and the taste is very delicious. It is simply the most suitable Chinese New Year delicacy. And the dumplings have a wide variety of fillings, enough to satisfy everyone's taste. But dumplings will only be served around New Year's. For the villagers of Konoa village, seeing dumplings means that the New Year is coming. Inside an izakaya, Jiria and Namike's Minato are drinking wine. Dot. Ask for flowers. There was a trace of blush on the faces of both of them, 
as if they were drinking lightly from a small wine cup. A plate of half-eaten dumplings was placed in front of the two of them. I have to say, Sanjuk Sinai is really an all-around genius. Even this delicious food can be developed. Jiria picked up a dumpling. His slightly drunken face was full of exclamation. Namike's Minato nodded heavily, and then said, I didn't expect Master to be able to rush back to celebrate the new year this time. I don't know how the mission went out this time. Jiria immediately raised her head proudly. Your Master and I will go out together, so naturally we are the best of both worlds. Of course the task was successfully completed. After finishing speaking, he picked up the wine cup and raised his neck, then made a slap looking very cheerful. Zero dot 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 zero. Namike's Minato immediately filled the empty cup, and was about to say something, when the sound of jingling bells came from the door, which attracted the attention of both of them. As a result, when they turned their heads, their eyes immediately straightened. Huh? Jiria, and Minato, you're here too. Sanjutsu Nade held Sanjuk Sinai's arm, and looked at Jiria and Namike's Minato in surprise. This has always been an Izakaya frequented by Sanjutsu Nade, but had never encountered Jiria before. Unexpectedly, Jiria would also come here to drink. Ah, you guys are here too, Jiria said with a complicated expression. In particular, seeing Senjutsu Nade holding Senjuks and I, he couldn't help showing a hint of envy. If I had been able to confess bravely back then, maybe everything would have been different, but there is no regret medicine in the world, and this is just Jiria's unilateral fantasy. The actual situation Jiria has no way of knowing. Namike's Minato's eyes are also very complicated, because on the other side of Sanju Starry Night, Yuzu Maki Kashina is also holding her husband's other arm. What a coincidence, Minato-kun. Yeah, what a coincidence. Namike's Minato felt astringent in his mouth, and the wine he just drank lost its taste in an instant. Sanjuk Sinai held his two wives' arms, and sat next to them while saying hello. I didn't expect that you would like to come here, if you had told me earlier. I would have given you a VIP membership for free. Chapter 146 A surprise that lasted all night. Master Hokage, is it still the same thing? Facing regular customers, the proprietress looked at Senjutsu Nade with a smile, and immediately arranged for her regular order. But Senjutsu Nade waved his hand and said, I won't drink so much today, I still have things to do later. Just order some sake and appetizers. Okay. The proprietress responded and immediately went to get busy. Jiri looked at Tsunade in surprise. Why do you drink so little? It's not like your character. Leave me alone. Sanju Tsunade didn't bother to pay attention to Jiri and just rolled his eyes. Because she just recently received a complaint about Jiri peeping in the women's bathroom. In order to avoid such things from happening before, Sanju Tsunade directly gave Jiri a task of scouting the enemy country. I thought I could 243 make Jiri disappear for a few months. Unexpectedly, Jiria not only completed the task ahead of schedule, but was complained after returning. This caused embarrassment to Senjutsu Nade, who is also one of the Sanin. After all, in the eyes of many Konoa village residents, Konoa Sanin has always been a whole. One wins and one loses. Although this impression gradually faded after Senjutsu Nade became Hokage, it obviously did not happen overnight. It takes time for precipitation to be able to separate clearly. So, now Senjutsu Nade is very upset to see Jiria. Naturally, I didn't bother to answer Jiria's question. Jiria gasped an awkward smirk on his face. Still use you Maki Kashina said with a smile. Actually, my husband planned to show us a surprise, but the time has not come yet, so we are shopping. Sister Tsunade feels thirsty, so let's come here and sit for a while. Hearing the sound of husband, Namike's Minato felt a sword stabbed in his heart. Although Yuzu Maki Kashina has been married to Senjuk Sinai for several years, she is also married and gave birth to her first child. But the bright moonlight in his heart still deeply tied his heart. But after all, Namike's Minato is not the ultimate licking dog like Kyuakai Hifugaku, and will not do some irrational things. So that's the case. I don't know what kind of surprise it is. Since Mr. Xenai specially prepared it for you, it must be very exciting. Namike's Minato forced himself to say the above words with a grin despite the acid in his heart. Senjuk Sinai smiled and said, It's not so much a surprise for them as it is a surprise for Konoa village. I've posted the exact time on the bulletin board in the village, but since you don't know it, you probably haven't seen it yet. Jiria blinked curiously. Surprise for the village? That's right. If you two have time, you might as well go to the hillside to the west of the village. In half an hour, since Mr. Xinai said so, we must go and have a look. Curiosity was aroused. Jiria readily agreed instead of Namike's Minato. Fortunately, Namike's Minato was also curious, so he didn't say anything. After chatting for a while, a group of people left together and went to the hillside to the west of the village. At this time, the villagers who saw the notice had completely blocked the surrounding area. But for those ninjas, just looking for a roof of a house, or standing on the top of a tree, there is no need to crowd the crowded streets. The people below are all civilians of Konoa village. As soon as they came here, Jiria and Sanjuk Sinai separated. In other words, Sanjuk Sinai left alone with his two wives and went to a secret place. He took his two wives to an empty gazebo. This is what he made temporarily with wood style, just to be able to enjoy the best scenery. How is it? The view here is good, 
right? Senjuk Sinai said with a smile. The location of the gazebo is relatively high, and the scenery in front of you can be seen at a glance. Moreover, there is no obstruction to block the line of sight, and there is a very good field of vision. It's very open. Can we just look here? Senju Tsunade crossed her arms, her face flushed from drinking some wine. Compared with her usually capable, Senju Tsunade at this time is limited to feminine softness. Senju Hoshi Yoruichi hugged the two girls from left to right, and they also leaned their heads on his shoulders, looking into the distance together. Senju Tsunade looked forward to it. But Yuzu Maki Kashina was also looking forward to it, and was also very nervous. Husband, as long as we come to see it, obviously Sister Shai Ori and the others are also looking forward to it. Don't worry. They will be here soon. It turns out that the husband has already arranged it. Yuzu Maki Kashina was relieved. Sure enough, it didn't take a while. Under the leadership of Yuan Shizi, a group of Yin Ying Yanyan came to the gazebo mightily. The children were also carried over, looking left and right with curious faces. For some children who have never been out of the Sanju residence, the experience of going out is very novel to them. A group of people huddled in the gazebo, chattering and discussing. It seemed very lively. It's almost time. Senjuk and I looked at the moon and whispered softly. And along with his words, a whole row of light spots suddenly flew into the night sky on the top of the distant hillside, accompanied by the ear-piercing sound of breaking through the air. This scene immediately attracted everyone's attention. Both Senju Starry Knight and his wife and children among the gazebos, or the villagers of Konoa village watching from the hillside in the west of the village. Everyone looked up in a daze, Shengguen rose slowly along the light. Finally, accompanied by a violent explosion. The light spot exploded into countless light spots in an instant. These points of light spread, forming faces one by one. Ah, it's us. Yuzu Maki Kashina screamed and covered his mouth. The others were also surprised, as if they didn't expect to see their faces in the night sky. Even if it's just the outline, but according to the hairstyle and characteristics, they can't distinguish 1.5 from each other, and those silhouettes are not only them, but also their children. The most important thing is the Sanju Starry Night in the middle. This is the surprise Sanju Starry Night gave to his wives. Use fireworks to paint a family portrait of their family. However, this fireworks show is just the beginning. For the wealthy Sanju Starry Night, it is an insult to his wealth that the fireworks will not last all night. The opening of the fireworks was a surprise for the wives, and the fireworks that lasted all night were a surprise for the villagers. Let them see what a real visual feast is. Soon. Endless fireworks of various colors began to explode in the night sky. People let out a loud exclamation, marveling at these precious pictures that briefly exist in the night sky. Yuzu Maki Kashina looked up, hands folded. So beautiful. Chapter 147 Happy New Year, and send you a newspaper. The night sky illuminated by the endless fireworks turned the night into day. Everyone marveled at the beauty of these fireworks and was deeply intoxicated by them. In the unknown gazebo. Senju Starry Knight is surrounded by his wives and concubines, embracing left and right, watching this rare beauty together. And these fireworks are all surprises that he asked Boss Zhao to ask people to study in advance. Especially the family portrait of the Senju family in the opening scene exhausted the brain cells of countless fireworks craftsmen. They must strictly control the flying trajectory of the fireworks in the sky, so as to be able to depict the desired effect of the Senju Starry Knight in the night sky. Fortunately, with Senju Xinai's money ability, they still forgot to eat and sleep to complete this almost impossible task. Time is also passing by a little bit in this gorgeous beauty. As the latest day of the new year approaches, with the countdown to the explosion of fireworks, everyone shouts in unison. 10, 9, 8, 7, in the gazebo. The wives and concubines of Sanju Starry Knight also whispered intoxicatedly. 6, 5, 4, 3, Sanju Star 28 Knights embraces Sanju Tsunade and Yuan Shai Ori with his left hand and use Yumaki Kashina and Yuakai Hamikoto with his right hand, while enjoying the blessings of everyone. He is also gently chanting, Happy New Year! Everyone shouted in unison, with happy and joyful smiles on their faces. The wives and concubines of Sanju Starry Knight surrounded him, looking at him with eyes full of love. In the most central Sanju Starry Knight, there was also a nostalgic smile on his face, and a hint of reminiscence in his eyes. Happy New Year! He spoke softly, then shouted loudly, Happy New Year! The new year kicks off with Sanju Starry Night. Even though half a month has passed, this glory still remains on the people of Konoa village. They will always involuntarily show a warm smile, thinking of that shocking night. At this time, the figure of Sanju Starry Night will come to their minds. We are so lucky to have Sanju Starry Night. Not only can you live in a Sanju real estate house, but you can also enjoy the most favorable prices in the five major countries. With Sanju Bank, they don't need to worry about money worries at all. They only need to make regular monthly repayments. Now. Sanju Pharmaceuticals is constantly developing various specific medicines for diseases. Some diseases that once plagued people, such as colds, can be cured, but the diseases that last for a long time can be cured in a very short time. Thinking of this, 
They sincerely thank Sanju Starry Knight for bringing all this. It is precisely because of the existence of Sanju Starry Knight that Konoha has become the most powerful and safest ninja village in the entire ninja world. The popularity of Sanju Starry Knight gradually became hot in Konoha village. If ever, people would just think of Sanju Starry Knight as a replacement for first Hokage Sanju Hashirama. Then the current Sanju Starry Knight is unique. Sanju Hashirama can't do what he's doing now. And what Sanju Hashirama has done. Sanju Starry Knight is a little bit beyond. It is believed that Sanju Starry Knight will be the greatest leader of the Sanju clan since Sanju Hashirama. This point is gradually engraved in the consciousness of all Konoha people. And these thoughts, along with a special intelligence channel, spread to the entire ninja world. This is Sanju newspaper. This is not Sanju Starry Knight's whim. The importance of the media has a very important impact on a society, especially in the ninja world, where the news is slightly blocked. Spying information among ninja villages in the world is all in exchange for the ninja's life. And Sanju Ksenai made this choice because the success of takeaway and express delivery during the war made him see the possibility. Now his courier receiving points are everywhere in the whole ninja world, and with his platform, no one dares to make trouble. After all, no one dares to provoke the current Sanju Starry Knight. It is very simple for him to open a newspaper. He only needs to place the newspaper at these express delivery points and then hire some people to go to the street to sell it. As for the content of shouting, it is natural to attract the attention of the public. For the people at the bottom, what are they most concerned about? Naturally, you can make money in your hands. The second is the 8 trigrams message that can pass the boring time. If they were caught by the noble gentleman of 8 trigrams, they would definitely be more curious. It is the entry opportunity of Sanju Starry Night. Then, as Sanju newspaper's first newspaper spread across the country, loud shouts could always be heard in the streets. Come on, come on. Big news, big news. Such a kid has such a cute granddaughter. It doesn't look like his own. I don't know if there is something ulterior. With a cute picture of the clown. The minister of finance of the land of water did such an immoral thing. The witches in the kingdom of ghosts are all young and beautiful. And a duel is the best choice for a vacation. With multiple photos of the beautiful maiden sister. Shocked. The minister of the land of wind actually had a tryst with a mysterious woman in the land of Tang. Kiriga cures Mizukage turned out to be just a teenage boy. Is all this the sinking of desire? or the distortion of human nature. Happy. These four things the fourth reikage has done. All kinds of attractive headlines attract 243 people's attention. When will these civilians who may not be able to leave their own country in their entire lives hear interesting stories about other countries? And a newspaper is not worth much. After buying it, no matter whether the news is true or not, at least they have gained a lot of happiness. Certainly, those who received the news were naturally very unhappy. In particular, a certain minister of the kingdom of wind, was rumored to have been stripped naked by his wife and locked outside the house, completely humiliated. Of course, these are just rumors. The details are known only to the parties involved. But what is certain is that the minister must hate Sanju newspaper. But he dared not do anything. Even though he is in a high position, facing the behemoth of the Sanju family industry, he dare not even fart. After all, the landscaping of the land of wind still needs to rely on the Sanju starry night to continue. Their kingdom of the wind has invested countless wealth for this project and the sunk cost has reached the point where they cannot withdraw. In this case, they dare not provoke Sanju Starry Knight at all. Otherwise, Sanju Starry Knight doesn't care about anything and just stop screening, then their country of winds will just sit in wax. Countless money is tantamount to wasting money. Even if this minister really wants to do something, the daimyo of the country of wind will make him shut up honestly. Dot. Chapter 148 I invested 100 million dollars in you. I'm afraid most of your news is fake news. During the spare time of the experiment, Okaimaru read the latest issue of the Senju Starry Night newspaper with great interest. Most of the above records are entertainment 8 trigrams between countries. There are very few more serious messages hidden away. For example, news of a coup d'etat in a certain small country. But people don't care about these things at all. They just want to see more fun. Senju Ksenai tossed a bottle of white medicine up and down in his hands and said with a smile. How do they prove that the news is fake? Since it can't be proved, it means that the news is true. Okaimaru rolled his eyes and tossed the newspaper aside. What's the point of you doing this? Are you passing on false information to deceive other ninja villagers? How is it possible? Only civilians will believe this kind of information, as long as a normal ninja knows that this information is unreliable. Then what is your purpose? Cultivate the habit of customers, let them adapt to my newspaper, until it penetrates into their lives. Okaimaru was startled and then looked deeply at Prince Ksenai. Sanju Property, Sanju Bank, Sanju Express, Sanju Takeaway and Sanju Pharmaceutical, plus now Sanju Newspaper. You want the entire ninja world to live under your control, don't you? Sanju Ksenai smiled and said, It's not that exaggerated. I just want to create an invincible business empire. Business empire? Okaimara frowned slightly, not understanding why Sanju Ksenai was so interested in money. You've got so much money. Haven't you earned it? Of course. 
Money can never be too much, Senjuk Sinai said as a matter of course. Don't look at me earning a lot, but I also spend a lot of money, for example. For example, the fireworks show on New Year's Day. Do you know how much it cost me? Some ornamental objects that can only be seen and have no actual combat use, how much can they cost? Okaimaru had no idea how much those things would cost. Senjuk Sinai stretched out an index finger silently. Okaimaru thought for a while and guessed. 10 million tls? 10 million tls is already a huge sum of money, even enough to buy a smaller Senju villa. However, hearing Okaimaru's answer, Senjuk Sinai just wanted to laugh. This is the guy who hasn't seen the real big money. The more it is used for viewing, the more expensive it will be. Just like those jewelry, they actually have no function other than good looking and collection value, but people are still willing to pay big bucks for them. A person like Okaimaru who has a single mother and fetus and only focuses on his own strength and ninjutsu research does not know the depth of this aspect at all. So, Okaimaru was stunned when he heard the two words slowly uttered by Sanjuk Sinai. I only heard Sanjuk Sinai spit out a few words softly. Billion. How many did you say? Okaimaru dug his own ear hole feeling like he just misheard something. Senju Starry Knight should have said 100,000 just now. Or he said the wrong thing. How could it be a billion? What's wrong with having a billion, just to watch those fireworks that can only be seen once, and spend such an astronomical figure? 10 billion. Senju Starry Knight repeated those two words again. And in order for Okaimaru to hear clearly, Senju Hoshiyoruichi paused and spoke clearly. After hearing this, Okaimaru was dumbfounded. Really a billion? How can it be a billion? That's a billion. Why use a billion? Shock and doubt filled Okaimaru's head. He couldn't figure out whether Senju Sinai's head was kicked by the donkey, or his forehead was clamped by the crack of the door. That's a billion. Okaimaru's eyes suddenly turned blood red. Are you crazy? So much money, you actually use it all to make those useless things. Okaimaru stepped forward, grabbed Senju Sinai by the collar and shouted with a distorted expression. Sanjuk Sinai turned his head to avoid Okaimaru's spittle star spraying himself in the face. What is this little money? What's the point of paying this money? Okaimaru felt like a string in his head was going to snap. Do you know, if you give me this little money to do research, how many achievements I can create? You can't figure out anything, Sanjuk Sinai said lightly. Okaimaru's face froze for a moment. He suddenly thought of something and his face changed. Wait, what do you mean? Didn't you guess it? Senjuk Sinai said with a smile. Okaimaru looked at Senju Starry Knight in surprise. My research. That's right. So far I have spent a total of 100 million tls on your various researches. Okaimaru's expression suddenly fell. Senjuk Sinai saw that Okaimaru was tricked by him, and immediately ran away laughing. Dot. Damn. Guy. Okaimaru's face was livid. But fortunately he had a little touch in his heart just now. I didn't expect to be playing him. But 100 million tls is not a lot. Okaimaru had never seen how much 100 million tls was. That's money the commons won't see in their lifetimes. This kid. Okaimaru shook his head with a wry smile, and went back to the laboratory to continue the experiment. And Senjuk Sinai, who left, also gradually restrained the smile on his face. He lied. Since ancient times, doing research has been the most expensive thing to do. Because everything needs to be explored step by step, there is no correct answer to copy, and every trial requires a lot of money to pave the way. Sanju Starry Knight's investment in Okaimaru's research funds has already exceeded 100 million, but it didn't reach the billion level either. The specific amount is about 500 million. It looks like a lot, but if you put the same research results on other researchers, Sanju Sinai Air, Wang. S. Be sure, don't look at even a floating point for tens of billions. There is only one reason for this savings, and that is because the researcher's name is Okaimaru. Okaimaru is the top scientist in Ninja World. His research efficiency is the best in the world. No one can compare to Raw. In particular, his persistent and dedicated spirit is especially suitable for the research field, so he can develop the required results at a speed of hundreds of times and thousands of times. This is why, Sanju Starry Knight will recommend Okaimaru to do research to his heart's content, and even to offend other ninja villages. Let Okaimaru do human research. Because Senju Starry Knight knows that Okaimaru deserves it all. And Okaimaru lived up to his expectations, successively produced several excellent products, established Senju Pharmaceutical from scratch, and now Senju Agriculture is also developing a little bit. When the special rice seed that can increase the total amount of chakra in the body is developed, and Shimaru will be the god of the entire ninja world. Chapter 149 Shall I send them to school? Before they knew it, Ganu and Luffy were over three years old. Senju Staryoruichi watched them grow little by little feeling a little dazed. Although they are still small in his eyes, the two children are about the same as ordinary eight or nine-year-old children in terms of height and intelligence. And that's just the appearance. In terms of strength, the two children now have the strength of a round shunin. Taijutsu and three-body technique have already reached the standard. After all, they are taught by Chen Bojun and Mai Dai, currently the strongest taijutsu ninjas in Konoha. Kosyuk Marushi, also known as 10,000 Years Genin, 
taught the two of them how to learn ninjutsu. Although these three people seem inconspicuous in the village, but in terms of strength, no one in Konoa village is their opponent except for those cage level powerhouses and elite jonin. Watching the two children practicing fighting in the courtyard, Senjuks and I suddenly had an idea. Do you want to send them to school? There is always something in the memory Kakashi graduated at the age of 5, Chunin at the age of 6, and Jonin's rapid promotion to legendary at the age of 12. Now his own child has the strength of Chunin at the age of 3. As a parent, Senjuks and I is full of thoughts of showing off. My kids are the best. You said, should the children go to school? 200 inches. He leaned over to the side and asked Yuzumaki Kashina who was next to him while watching the children. Yuzumaki Kashina was taken aback by his sudden thought. Husband, Kanu and Luffy are only three years old, and the other children are three years old. She stood up suddenly. As a parent she immediately understood what Senjuks and I was thinking. She couldn't help but look at her husband with a funny face. But this idea of wanting to show off children. Yuzumaki Kashino agrees very much. It's just that she has a gentle personality and only wants to protect the healthy growth of the children, without thinking about this aspect. Now that Ganzuk Sinai mentioned this, she also had the same idea in her heart, and it was out of control. Well, that's fine. But now it's past the registration time, isn't it a bit late? Sanju Yoruichi heard his eldest wife agreed, and immediately said in high spirits, What is this? Let Tsunade operate it casually. Won't you just go in? Yuzumaki Kashina also knew that he asked a stupid question, with Hokage at home, can such a small matter bother them? Then, the two reached a consensus, and the matter was settled. Night, after working hard, Kienzi Xinai told Sanjutsunade about it. Sanjutsunade was also a little surprised. It's not a time of war, children don't need to go to school so early, do they? Actually, my husband wants to show off our child, sister. Yuzumaki Kashina, who was lying on his side chuckled. Senjutsunade immediately rolled his eyes upon hearing this. You guys want to show off Nu and Luffy's talents? Hey hey hey, Sanju Starry Knight and Yuzumaki Kashina showed the same smirk. Senjutsunade shook his head helplessly, I really can't do anything about you, have you told the children about this? Senjutsunai shook his head and said, this matter requires you to nod and agree. If you don't agree, won't I let them down if I say it in advance? How can you be sure that your child will be disappointed not to be able to go to school? Maybe the child prefers to stay at home. Children who haven't gone to school will naturally be full of longing for school. If you let them go to school at this time, you will definitely agree. Only after they have attended school will they hate school. Senju Star Yoruichi's face is taken for granted. Children are often very curious about things they don't understand, but few of them can continue to be curious after they understand it. Especially in places like schools where you learn knowledge, after children get familiar with it, especially those children who love to play, they will definitely feel bored. Senjutsu Nade shook his head helplessly. In this case, let me arrange it. Then, Sida, the two children were arranged to be the first year students in the new semester without their knowledge. And this news, unknowingly, quietly spread around Konoa. Hey, did you guys hear that? Lord Starry Knight's child starts school at Jonin School tomorrow. Really? I remember Master Xenai's eldest is only three years old right? A three-year-old child is going to join in school. This is not a time of war, so there is no need for it. What do you know? Can Lord Starry Knight's children still be common people? That's right. Don't use your common eyes to define a great existence like Mr. Xenai. That's right. And I've personally seen Master Xenai's elder daughter and son practicing with the two elders, and their strength is no less than that of an ordinary Chunin. Chunin's strength at the age of three? If it was someone, I wouldn't believe it. But this is Master Xenai's child, it is indeed possible. Master Xenai is really amazing. With the leadership of Master Starry Knight and Master Hokage, our Konoa days will definitely get better and better. The news spread throughout Konoa, and naturally fell into the ears of Yuakai Hafugaku. Hearing this news, the thread in Yuakai Hafugaku's mind suddenly disconnected. What? Senju Starry Knight is going to make his child Jonin school. No, I have to let Itachi Jonin be the school. If it wasn't for Sasuke who was born not long ago. He must have been arranged by Yukai Hafugaku to enter the ninja school. But as I said before, the deadline for registration has passed. Yukai Hafugaku wants to let the underage Yukai Hitachi join in school, so he can only go to Senjutsunade. Then, Yukai Hafugaku brought his son Yukai Hitachi to Senjutsunade early the next morning. Master Hokage, I think my child has absolute aptitude and will definitely become an excellent ninja in the future. So, in order to prevent his talent from being wasted, I want him to enter the ninja school now to learn the orthodox way of ninja. Aren't you mad at stopping our kids Joan in school? Sanjutsunade rolled his eyes coveredly, then crossed his fingers and placed his arms on the table, posing in Commander Raikari's classic pose. All that's left is a pair of reflective glasses. This matter is a bit difficult. There was a hint of embarrassment in Sanjutsunade's voice. I just said hellos that my child is the last one, but you just let the school open the back door again, which is really embarrassing. 
Doesn't that make me a bit dishonest? Yuakai Hafugaka took two steps forward without hesitation. Master Hokage, please accommodate me. I am also thinking about Konoa's future. If Sanju Starry Knights were here, he would definitely be laughing out loud. Dot. Chapter 150 This class is not a ninjutsu theory class. You took the wrong book. In the end, Sanju Tsunade reluctantly agreed. Of course, this matter itself is not a difficult matter. She is the current Hokage of Konoa, so just explain this kind of thing. But she needs to adopt an attitude and not allow other people to break the original rules casually. Although the first to destroy is her own. But other people will not be dissatisfied with her because of this. But if this kind of thing happens frequently, the ninjas will definitely find it very convenient. After all, they occupy the upper echelon of Konoa and are used to this kind of thing. But civilian ninjas will definitely be very dissatisfied thinking that they cannot take this fast lane. If the difference is too large, it will lead to misunderstanding between the two parties. Senju Tsunade cannot afford to let this possibility happen. Then, Yuakai Hifugaku, who got the permission, immediately brought the ignorant Yuakai Hitachi to the ninja school. To be honest, the current Yuakai Hitachi is only over two years old, not even three years old. Even more exaggerated than Niwu and Luffy. Moreover, although Niwu and Luffy are only a little over three years old, their height is not much different from other six or seven year old children and their strength is far beyond. In contrast, Yuakai Hitachi is purely like a two-year-old child, small in stature and unable to speak clearly. Also, since it was a temporary visit, Yuakai Hitachi was not a transfer student. Students, let me introduce a new classmate who came today. A female teacher Chiyunin stood on the podium and spoke to the children with a pleasant face. Next to her is Yuakai Hitachi, who is carrying a school bag and looks dazed. He looked at the six or seven-year-old children on the opposite side and felt that he was out of place here. Who am I? Where am I? Why am I here? Yuakai Hitachi was completely dazed, not knowing what to do. At this time, the teacher also briefly introduced the situation of Yuakai Hitachi, then bowed his head and said to Hitachi, Itachi-san, please introduce yourself to everyone. Yuakai Hitachi said obediently, My name is Yuakai Hitachi, from the Yuakai family, please give me your advice in the future. Although at a loss, Yuakai Hitachi's tutor is not bad, after all, he comes from Yuakai a famous Konoa family. Education in this area is impossibly poor. After hearing Yuakai Hodachi's self-introduction, most of the children who are civilian ninjas immediately started talking. It's from the Yuakai family. Do you think he will be sharing them? Probably not. He looks so small, as big as my two-year-old brother. Is he not nourished? Are you kidding? Yuakai has kids will be malnourished? Didn't you listen carefully? He is only two years old, not yet three years old. Isn't this younger than Nu and Luffy? I remember that Nu and Luffy are already three years old. Nu and Luffy were arranged to sit in the middle and back row of the classroom. Nu, who is conscientious and studious, sits in the middle, and Luffy, who likes to be mischievous, is arranged in the back row. This is not an arrangement made by the female teacher, but an arrangement made by Sanju Tsunade herself. Although Sanju Tsunade does not deny Luffy's talent, but Luffy is too naughty, especially after awakening his talent and obtaining a rubble-like body, it was even more out of control, because the ordinary blow hit him, he didn't feel any pain at all, and he immediately started running wildly, what makes Sanju Tsunade most angry is that Sanju Ksunai doesn't care about it, but instead asks Might Dai to teach Luffy to learn eight inner gates, what is eight inner gates, that is a desperate move that hurts 1000 enemies and damages oneself 800, a move that must not be used until the last moment, as a result, Sanju Ksunai asked Luffy, who was only three years old, to learn this. An angry Senju Tsunade insisted on chasing Senju Star Yoruichi all night, turning the entire Kzu station upside down. Fortunately, in the end Senju Tsunade found out that the third gate was the same as playing before Luffy opened it, and there was no side effect at all, and then gradually calmed down. It was because she discovered that the side effects of it inner gates didn't seem like a burden in front of Luffy's special physical talent. However, for the final move of eight gate, which kills as soon as it is opened, she can't teach might even if she dies. Not even what Senju Ksinai taught. At this moment, the eyes of the two who also went to school on the first day also fell on the little Yuakai Hitachi on the podium. It's so small, it feels about the same age as my younger brother. It should be because he's older. Brother Mew isn't speaking so well now. Nu looked Yuakai Hitachi up and down, and immediately checked with his younger brother Senju. Dot. Ask for flowers. Mewkyu and Kyuangsen have also started to practice now, but of course their progress is not as good as their three older sisters. Big brother and a younger sister. Compared with ordinary people, there is also a big gap. After all, the aptitude of the two children almost reached cage level. The aptitude of the peak cage level can show some clues when he was a child. Luffy glanced at it, then didn't care, and started chatting with a new friend next to him. Strong affinity is the powerful temperament displayed by Luffy, which makes people around him curious about him, and finally follow him willingly and fight for him. This is also the ability under the subtle influence of Luffy's talent. Just after entering school, 
Luffy made friends with a few students in the back row. Dot, dot, zero. They have even made an appointment where to play after school. As for the transfer student Yuukaiha Atachi, in Luffy's opinion, he is too young, and there is no attraction for him. Yuukaiha's identity, sorry, Luffy, who has a carefree personality, doesn't care about these things. He only cares about the things he is interested in, and Yuukaiha Atachi has nothing to attract him. Nawu also paid attention to it for a short time, then withdrew his gaze. Although curious about Yuukaiha Atachi's age, now is obviously not a good time to ask. But, it seems that someone specially instructed Yuukaiha Atachi to be arranged by Nu's side by the female teacher. Hi, my name is Yuukaiha Atachi, please give me your advice. Yuukaiha Atachi finished speaking obediently and seriously before sitting down. Nu saw that the other party had already introduced herself politely, of course she should also show corresponding politeness. My name is Sanju Nu, you can call me Sister Nu, I should be one year older than you. One year older? Yuukaiha Atachi looked at Nu in surprise his eyes full of disbelief. Is it true that beating my sister is only three years old today? Kanu nodded with a smile. Can't you tell? But I'm three years old. Yuukai Huitachi nodded ignorantly, then began to silently take out the textbook, ready to start class. But obviously, Yuukai Huitachi, who has just started school, is still a little immature. Nawu saw it and couldn't help but said, This class is not a ninjutsu theory class. You took the wrong book. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me, link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.